one, two, three. Hey, now. Why does it start at two hours? It's so crazy. Hello, hello, hello. Let's check our phone line. Make sure it's Jenkins. Make sure we got sites. Turn up video. We Gucci. We Gucci. I think. One, two, three. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Hey, now. There we go. Let's automatically adjust the mic volume. There we go. All right. So what's everybody doing? We got some people in here. Oh, yeah. I got to go. I got to go to my jank. We, we had to. St- I had to start it. I was gonna cancel it. We only have ten minutes after the start time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> we, Is the bookkeeper on? No, uh, I don't think so. We oh. can change our. We can change the Elkhart stream to subscribers only. That'd be fucked up. Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. We could. We could do that. My stream is only one hour. You think that would be jank? Is what you're saying? Well. I think that there's better ways of going about getting money from people. No, I'm just, yeah, I'm just joking. But kind of, I mean, you're, you're joking, but kind of not. You're like, people should be paying us for this. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just joking. But that is, uh, what I do is, like, on the Hope and May, like, live streams, when they're over, I make those mm-hmm. subscribers only. And then, so that way people can go listen to the podcast. And it's working, dude. We're getting crazy. We're getting good downloads. What are we, uh, we're live on just... Facebook, uh, Back Home Media's Facebook, Elkhart Tapes, uh, The Derek Relford Show, Bedroom Radio, and YouTube. We got zero sites. Dog, get out the way. Move, Typhon. Move. Lay down. Mine was dark, but I think it's only on that stream, though. Yeah, I mean, we do have a shitty light situation going on. Well, but but if I'm right here, like, I know that. Hold on, I have to be still. Well, we got a pretty fancy one, right? Fancy what? That webcam that like followed him around. Oh yeah, dude. But that was part of his. That was part of his map. It came with a mic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you need to put your mic somewhere near you. I know. I was just trying to see if the lighting was better there. I don't know, bro. There's five people in here, bro. Yeah, you get your mic on you, dude. Like, what you're doing pre production stuff on a live stream, bro. Hey. You were out dicking off for fucking two hours in the backyard and you could have been doing all this shit, but now you want to fucking. Now you want to set your screen, bro. Come on, man. It's a little. It's a little jank, dude. It's a little jank, dude. Hey, you ever notice that uh, fat guys with podcasts love. Uh, love, like, interviewing porn stars? And they love going to like uh, that that event in Las Vegas every year, where it's like porn star chicks and a bunch of yeah, and like a bunch of like fat podcasters like hugging them a little too long and and taking pictures hugging them a little too long, and they're like, look at all these porn stars I'm hanging out with. It's like yeah, they uh, it's it's a con. Like they're there for I mean it's it's like a convention. You know they're there because they invited you. Uh, None of them want to fuck you at all, like even a little bit. None of them like you at all. Who you are you sites? referring to here? I got sites. A lot of guys, dude. Like it's it's weird. Like there's all these guys that have podcasts, and like they're obsessed with like, oh, we have a stripper on, we have a porn star on. I've interviewed one porn star, dude, and she got in my Uber. Like that's how I met her. Like I was doing Uber, and she got in, and I met her. Like. It's just weird, like fat losers that couldn't pay for sex, like or it's like hang, they're hanging out with porn stars at a at a convention, and they're like, "Look at all these chicks I'm with." It's like, yeah, bro, anybody with a fucking heartbeat can walk in there and take a picture with these chicks, man. Like, what are we, what are we bragging about here, dog? 
this is 14 14 right 14 14 yeah that's how you get into the jank okay. yo drop an l in the chat drop an l in the chat if you can hear us yeah please if you can hear us drop an l in the chat because we need a uh... and if we get like 100 more people on my tiktok dude we can uh yeah if you're not following us on tiktok yeah back home media llc let me look it up real quick y'all could suck it Y'all some sucker ass bitches. Oh, we got a couple L's in the chat. We got, we got L's L, in the dude. chat. Okay, so it's at Back Home Media LLC on TikTok. If I get a hundred and no, if I yeah, a hundred and ninety two more followers, we can go live on TikTok. Yeah. Which is but if we just get one more follower today, what I'll this be has happy. All been about basically. Oh, we just got a follower. Troy Cohen just followed us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, also follow Rebel Nasty. Ah. Rebel Nasty. Ah. So I go to StreamYard, right? Is yeah, that how we do the... Yard, okay. Ty, figure it out, man. Yeah, get dude. Out, dude. Hey, they didn't want to what go on the show. Your name on it or something, bro? That's not your, yeah. That's not your couch, bro. That's for my hey, guests. Look, look, you can no, come you right here if you chill. stay you over there. Chill. Stay over there. Typhoon. Hey, does anybody want a dog? No, nah, it's, it's getting a little out of hand, dude. Like, these dogs, like, keep getting on the couches and they won't move when you tell them to when people are like, bro, yeah. you can't sit there. Like, it's getting a little much, dude. We're going to have to get rid of these dogs, basically. Well, we're going to have to battle robots here. Ooh, got another follower, dude, just now. Megan Trump yes. something to start following us on TikTok. Dude, that's 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 cool because considering we only have eight people watching and two out of those two eight followed. Two out of those eight followed us? Dude, Thank you. That is great. Back Home Media LLC on TikTok. And I'll make a video, a fresh Ooh. video right now. Enter studio. Enter studio. And then you'll, you should be able to do the... Uh, once you get in there and you can pin comments, I'll full screen our show. Okay. Hey, uh, anybody want to call in? I know y'all about to have lunch. Yeah, everybody's on their lunch. Yeah, call in a bitch about your job. Bitch, do whatever. I don't call. Just call me. We're trying to test out the system, and like, rather than me sneak over to the other room, y'all could just call me. And I'm making a TikTok video right now for Back Home Media LLC. I just, I'm just posting it right now on TikTok. Yep. So he's saying we got two L's. Diana. We got two L's. Diana Watson Bolden in the house. And Trevor Garner. Trevor Garner in the hills, dude. T Rev. We got quite a few in the hills right now, if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, we got seven people. Whoop. Uh okay. Oh, I can. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. It's posted to TikTok. Oh. Yep. See, I got I got this. Okay, now you can make it full screen. Full screen it? Call these fucking idiots. Hey, dude. Uh, just so you know, uh -huh. this girl on TikTok, she just said that she doesn't have to prove her worth to anybody. I just want to let you know that. Well, it's her... Uh, I won't say her name, okay, but okay. I've been watching her TikTok for a few days. She's really mad at the guy who broke up with her. Oh, she's so someone from here? No. It's yeah. one of those things, like, and I do it too. Like, what is the deal with people who fucking... They 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 are angry at a person, like they they have they feel a certain type of way about a human being, and instead of confronting that person, they post aimlessly on social media, like yelling at their timeline, like I'm sick of the shit. I don't have to prove my worth to anybody. Like who are you talking to? Like I you mean, have his number still. You can just call him. Like why why are you telling me? Why are you yelling at me? Well, I didn't cheat on you. Why are you mad at did me? You, right? Did you say we do not have the ability to call out? Who do you want to call? Well, I, I, no, it, it. Yeah, we can call. No, I was, I was merely asking if it was possible or if it was not possible. Who do you want us to call? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't have any. Who do we call? What sites do we call? No, I don't even have friends. You got no friends. No friends. I, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to test the phone out. You know, that was it. That's it. Yep, that's it. Okay, let me see. There should be like a dialer somewhere. If calls, uh, I guess we could call my sister. What does this say? New call. New call. Dial pad. Oh my goodness! It says some about nine one one. Maybe I don't have any credits though. It says is that what it says? Oh no! Oh, it says no subscription. No sub. We have cre we have money up there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I okay. Mean, save even more on phone calls to specific destinations. 
So I think that's only for specific ones. That's what I call it. Specific ones. That's calling Joshua. Yeah, that's, see, that's, that's what I hate. That's what I don't like about this shit, dude. Oh, that's Skype? I can't even believe Skype still exists. The shit I don't like. Dude, I remember taking my prom, prom date when I was a senior in high school. We, She was, like, from Denver. We would communicate on Skype, bro. That was The only reason I fuck with Skype still is because you can, uh, so, like, when multiple people call into the show, <coughs> you can add them to the existing call. Yeah. So you can get, like, mad heads in one room. Yeah, yeah. we got eight heads here. We got eight heads, dude. Oh, let's yeah. see if we got. Oh yeah, TikTok, Back Home Media LLC. Yeah, we're just trying to get to that a thousand followers uh, so we can like pretty much follow Rebel just, Nasty like, get on YouTube. All kinds of hoes and shit. Once you hit that one K on TikTok, that's when the hoes start showing up. Yeah. Hey, let me put it in the chat, dog. You gonna put it in the chat? Yeah. Um, People are liking the video, dude. Dude, at least which one? The one you just made? Yeah, the other one I just made, dog. Are you? Probably. They're probably just like, am I in it? Is that why? Yeah, you're in it. It's a video of you. Oh. Oh. Jesus uh, Christ, dude. That's crazy. Dude, well, well, what's crazy is like we're fishing for TikTok and they're about to ban it. They already passed that bill, right? I don't know. They've been saying they're going to ban it for a while, dude. I think they're just going to massively oh. change it, bro. Like, honestly, I think that's what will happen. Dude. I posted it and then it like it comes in from like four different directions. Yeah, because it sends it to all the chatters and all the different platforms. Oh, that's okay. Because I don't know how to fix it, so I just won't do that. Then. Hell yeah, dog. Ooh. That's how you do it. That's we got five it. people in the chat. Five people. Five in the people chat. in the chat. Drop an L in the chat if you think the show sucks. Yeah. Oh, I've got a cold. But if you don't think it sucks, send this you, link you to your mom. Got me sick, bro. Oh, he's on a sick one. Yeah, dude, he he definitely got me sick. Are you serious though? You think he can freestyle, or you're dude, just? I know he can freestyle. Hey, put that down. Ask what our number is. Oh, uh, <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. I need to learn our number. Yeah, you should, man. You need to learn a lot of things. Like, we got ten, eleven people. Oh my god, oh my god, y'all hanging out with. D Rally, the biggest clout chaser in the game. I be chasing clout every yeah. day. That's why he's losing weight. He's been chasing all that clout. Dude, you know what though, dude? Who's like, Gombi? Who? I have gotten like really bummed out about like friends of mine, like that get into like charitable stuff. And then like you can tell by like their advertising, it's just they're just like, Look how cool I am for caring about other people. Oh, I'm just man. like, I can't watch this, dude. I have to yeah. unfriend you. I don't hate you. Ooh, but ooh. I can't watch this. Look, someone Megan says this show definitely sucks. You right? You right? One hundred percent. You right? I, think I just told her to call in. You right? You I right? I told her to call in, and she didn't. So, yeah, Megan Nicole, you got two first names. Nice. Yeah. Do we got any missed calls? I'm just talking shit. Who's Zombie Woof? Woof. Somebody called. What did? What is this call then? It says yesterday at ten oh seven p.m. Okay, so we're not missing any calls today. We're not. Not yet. Yeah, we haven't got any calls yet. Okay. Yeah, cause, uh, cause there's twelve people here. They're all pussies, dog. She got duck lips. He said. <laughs> One, two, three. He said, "Hey, he's saying our uh, he said our mics are really hard to hear." Who said that? My friend Colton. Let me see real quick. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Yeah, that does look pretty low. Dude. Test, test, test. One, two, three. Test, test, test. That shouldn't be janked. Uh, is he did, is he using ear pods or something? Test, AirPods. test, test, one, two, three. I don't know. Bro. Better now. Test, 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 one, two, three. Is it better now? Is it more jank? Does it, is it better? Is it jank? He said Move. it's better now? Yeah. Hey, who's zombie wolf? Woof. Okay. Maybe it's better. Is that funny? He said she got duck lips. That's me. I got duck lips, dog. No, I don't. I'm lying. What's this right here? Better I now. have a... What is his picture of? What is that? What do you think that is? Which stuff? Where? That picture, though. Is that the guy that called in yesterday? Oh, he's one of Trevor Trevor Happy Hour's buddies, man. It's Trevor's slave. Oh. What does he mean by that? Like, type shit? I think, yeah. Like, Trevor has him doing type shit and stuff? I think so. I better put this down. Nah. That's not good, dude. What? That Trevor makes him do ooh, shit. Ooh. Yeah, but... Oh, you know what they say about duck lips, though? No, I don't. Tell me. Enlighten me. 
What they say about duck lips? Is she talking crazy, dude? I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know what a gimp is. That's like a simp. A sen? She's a grandpa. What is a Who's gimp? a grandpa? Look, it says Zombie Wolf says I'm his gimp. His gimp? Yeah, Trevor's. Dude, that makes me all kinds of nervous, bro. So that makes him. Okay, so we're obviously having some issue type Duty. shit. Why though? They, he said it's better. He said it's jank. Test, test, test. One, two. Hey, Zombie Wolf, what is your um profile picture? That's not good. Let me see. Automatically adjust. Also. Test, test, test. Is it any better now? That looks like it's probably going to be better. Donkey. Yeah. I think it's better now. Let me ask my buddy who's listening. I changed a few it, settings. He says I got to get medicated. He's typing. I think it's better. I think he's going to say it's too loud. No. Still quiet. Uh, Wait, can, wait, can, we, can we get a confirmation of anyone else? Saying that it's still quiet. Can we drop an L in the chat if it sucks? That's a great stout beer. Oh. Oh, I see. Wait, wait. Can, we, can we get the confirmation of anyone else saying that it's still quiet? That sounds loud. It sounds fine. That on sounds my fine, dog. Colton, I think uh, I think your phone is busted, bro. Yeah. And I'm sorry, man. But Kelly says we sound great. Candace says we're good. So basically, my buddy Colton is uh, deaf. His ears are broken. We need to. Can we start a GoFundMe for Colton's ears? No, I think uh, I'll say it's your phone, homie. Sound loud now that you made those changes. I'll put straight oh. talk is oh shit. <laughs> no, it's good. It's not quite. Megan, <laughs> I'm you... on T-Mobile. I can't talk shit on phone. On Megan, phone. give us the rest of the joke. You said you know what's cool about duck lips, and then left <laughs> us hanging. I think she was talking like some type of shit, dude. If I'm honest, dude. Well. Colton says it's much better now. I, cl I, cl I clicked a few settings. Uh, things are good. Hey, drop an L in the chat if you want me to take my shirt off. <laughs> Did they drop the L in the chat for you to take your mask off? I don't, I don't <laughs> like the mask, dude. <laughs> Why? I mean, in your in your personal art world, I think it's important. Yeah. Like when you're selling your art, but like on this show, I think, I think it's weird. Like, no, I think people like look at your face and want to have sex with just you. like basically sex type stuff, dude. Yeah. Hey, we got a comment. Yeah. Oh, about you being a badass. Yeah, you better go ahead and post that. You better one, go dude. ahead and show that. You better go ahead and put that dun, one up there, big dog. Because that's a true statement, a hundred percent. Yep. Uh, primarily, that's how. Wait, I wait, wait! Look how cool that dude looks in his profile picture. Just dude, that's Doobie, bro. That's Doobie. Uh, Chris Johnson, Doobie from Doobie Brothers. I want to meet that guy. Everybody should go follow Doobie Brothers. It's A Z Brothers. Okay, Megan. Um, uh, Megan told me to vote to keep my fucking shirt on. That's okay. Why she wants to. Use, she wanted yeah. to stay on. Is what yeah, she said. That's okay. She she couldn't. She she couldn't handle. She couldn't handle it. She's like, <laughs> we'd have to put a caution wet floor sign out. Caution wet floor. Yeah. Wet Doobie Brothers. Floor. There you go. Chris Dude, Johnson. I did not like that song the other day when we watched it to that cartoon. Which one? You're asking? Yeah, Walk. It was like some. It was uh, some cartoon had WAP in it. Oh, I didn't see that. It was a South Park. I didn't see that. Made me feel uneasy. Uh, keep your shirt on, bro. She says, "Keep it on, bro." That's so gross. Well, I'm. I mean, actually, it's kind of cold in here, so thank you. It is cold, bro. Yeah. Plus, uh, if y'all want to see me without my shirt, get on my OnlyFans. Do you really got an OF dog? <laughs> no. I knew somebody who had an OF for a while, dude. Uh oh. My brother's ex wife. Except I always made fun of her because she only had one person. It was like some guy that she had friends on that was paying her. Yeah. So I was like, you have a only fan. Right. <laughs> well, and, and I'm the Why go through the app at that point? If it's just one dude that's thirsty for you that's sending you money to see your beef, why not just like have him send you money on like Venmo? Why yeah. why why give why give OnlyFans a cut of your one fan? If you have only if you have only have a fan, don't start an OnlyFans. Start an OnlyFan. Hey. Yeah. Anybody in the chat got an OnlyFans? Post up. Put an L in the comments. No. 
Okay, so this is what I think about OnlyFans. Like, um, yeah. I don't know if anyone's ever went to Google, but you could just, you know, whatever type of situation you're trying to see, you could just da 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 da, da and then you could watch it for free, man. So, so giving someone like money monthly to watch just them do it is like, is jank. Hey, I got a question for you. Answer, I got an answer. When it comes to pursuing the op, whoever you're into. Say right now we're talking about you. You're a guy. I'm a dude. And you like chicks, I think. Yep. Mostly chicks. Mostly. Does so say say like you're you're pursuing a girl. Does body count factor into whether or not you want to date somebody? Well, uh, body count unless like one of uh someone in the immediate circle is like, yo, that girl's a hoe. Watch out. I would have no. I would never ask a girl like, "Yo, what's your body count?" But even that statement, do you really trust your immediate circle? Like you're well, in my well, immediate circle, I would never listen to you. I I would because there's there's certain people that that could could just with one sentence save my life. Yeah. But okay, but but I don't think it matters. Like, and I remember I like dating like in matter. high school. I remember like like you know I, I was just like, man, if a girl has sex with like two guys, like she's ruined. Yeah. But now I'm just like. If a girl's only had sex with two guys, she's probably bad at sex. Yeah. She's probably not really exactly. good at sex, dude. Well, and like just just as I mean, as long as I'm not in a situation where somebody got it like five minutes before me, then I, then we're probably we're we're good. <laughs> and if that's the situation, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> you don't want to know. Do you, do you are you in a position now in your life where you want to know? You say you start dating somebody, do you ask them about their past? Um. You know, I, I really just worry about their future. Like, where are you going in life? You know, but you're really, you really like, you don't have that human trait of just like, I know I don't want to know, but I'm going to, I'm going to fuck up and ask this girl, like how many people she's been with, who she's been with. And then I'm going to like really have a problem with it for a while. No way. We got 15 people in the chat. That's what what I would do is, is like, dude, we, because check this out, man. Like I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I've done things that I'm not proud of, but like to judge me for anything I've ever done in my past is, is bad judge of character, you know? You can't judge anyone for a mistake they made yesterday. I'm not even saying judging. I'm just saying like morbid curiosity. Do you want to know? Like um, what you're, what the, what the person you love, what where they've been, what they've done, how many people they've like, like, and that's the thing. Like you could ask like somebody, how many people have you slept with? But the real question is like, how many people have you loved? Like, dude, Stephanie, she's been engaged. I'm the third person to ask. She said yes to. Wow. That's garbage. Well, that's the mother of my kids, homie. That's not garbage. She's for the streets, dude. Three dudes. <laughs> Telling three dudes, yes, that's for the streets, homie. Oh. Um, we just got shared the not? feed on Facebook. I need all 17 of you to share the feed on Facebook. We need shooters. Calling all shooters. Oh, yeah. She wants to know if you ever found yourself a sneaky link. I'm not even sure what that means. Doobie Brothers. Doobie. You don't know what a sneaky link is? It means yeah, no, are you in, no, no. are you in a are you going off to the treehouse is what they're asking. Vegas Wade, everybody follow Vegas Wade. Add Vegas Wade right now on yep. Facebook. Uh he is the he is the uh he is the tour guide that gave me and D Hay a private tour of Las Vegas a few weeks ago. He also and, gave uh, him a tour of Pound Town. He did he also took us to a place where they gave me uh it was two large pieces of cheesecake that were acting as bread, and in the middle there was ice cream. It was an ice cream sandwich with the, the the bread of the ice cream sandwich made of cheesecake. And uh, it was the most goddamn irresponsible thing I've ever put in my mouth, dude. Like, I don't. If you go to Vegas, don't go to that place. Oh, go. But you're going to hate yourself. Like, most people go to Vegas, dude. And you always, usually, if you don't, if, when you're laying, when you're laying down to go to sleep in Vegas, if you don't have, like, regret in your heart, you didn't do Vegas right. And me and, uh. Me and me and D. Hay had a lot of regret in our heart when we went to bed, but it wasn't because of any drug, sex, or rock and roll. It's because we both ate one of those cheesecake things, and we both just like looked at each other like, "Well, I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm I, I obviously can't be trusted that away like from my family. I'm I'm not making good decisions out here. And then based on what I just ate, like I, I might die. So, uh, you know, it's good to go to bed with a, a a ball of guilt in your stomach when you're in Vegas. You know, that's how you no. do it. No, yeah, well, dude. It sounds like you guys had a very romantic time. No, dude. Even if me and D. Hey were gonna do some like, you know, type shit, we couldn't have, dude. We were full. 
We had we both <laughs> ate like four thousand calories, bro. I could not hop on that up and down on that dick, dude. No way. She's no way. Sandwiches. No Vegas, cheesecake please. sandwiches are so good. Okay, I challenge one of you seventeen motherfuckers to call me. Okay, somebody Just call one. Tyler. Call We're trying out. to test the levels. Cheesecake sandwiches are not. I highly doubt that cheesecake is the most irresponsible. In that day, it I was. Think too, a, that day, it was. Home girl. <laughs> she's onto something. Vegas Wade is romantic. Yeah. Let's keep that one up there for a while. <laughs> uh, 16 people. Hey, somebody call in. Uh, what's our number, dude? 620 765 4727. Okay, hide it. That's, somebody, how, that's how you get on the air. I know that one of you motherfuckers is on your lunch break. I know it. Somebody's janking, dude. Uh, how did you like the burrito? He said. I don't even remember it, dude. All I remember was eating that cheesecake, and then like, oh, by the way, we went to. Uh, I'm missing my phone. We went to. Uh, Hold on, I got you. I got what you. I call Taylor Mart today, but it's now called Conoco, and they sell these. Uh, oh, glizzy! They sell these like uh, sausages on a stick, and. Uh, Tyler called it a glizzy, and the chick fucking lost her mind. She was like, no! I hear that shit at my house. She's like, I have a 12-year-old that calls hot dogs glizzies. You're not going to do that here. Hey, you see what Casey said? E-40 said, what a... Oh, that's a... That's the in He's a rapper, though, dude. He can say it. In, oh, that's a nice little chin piece. Is that what we call dude, that little thing? was hard, dude. Wait, I'm too busy today. You. I don't know what that means. Well, I told him to come over and rap yesterday. Oh. Um, and he didn't. And then he's too busy today? Man, we need some new friends that aren't too busy. We need we need the type of people that will pull up when you ask him to. Well, we, I really wish I would have right, lost my phone. Like, it, right now, we just need one person to pull up their phone and call us. Well, there it is. Hey, congratulations. I knew you would find it. Oh, he's saying he's too busy to call, dude. Like, he called oh. yesterday while he was cutting meat. Oh. You hadn't talked about his wiener, huh? He might have. Hey, call my phone if you can. If you can't, that's okay. You want to call your joint? Oh, I left it in the treehouse. That's okay. Go get it. I'll right. hold it down. Okay. Hey, everyone, I'll be right back. Hey, Casey. I mean, uh, E-40. 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 Are you coming through tonight? We need... We need bars. We need bars, dude. We, we're making beats. We're um. We tried to flow. We've tried to flow yesterday. I only got one. Yeah, and and we didn't have the right energy because they were like bossing me around to do all this VCR stuff. You're the one that definitely pulled a VCR into here and still never showed me the tape. Well, and I think that that's fate telling me, hey, don't do this on live where people could want to come kill you dead what's fake derek when the demo day is on. oh yeah so whenever i was there visiting dude he showed us uh whoa he showed us this huge ass casino vegas send me a picture of the casino i'll put it up on the screen <coughs> there's a picture um there's a casino in vegas that's uh they're getting ready to tear it down basically because it's like old and shit so he's going to uh, go live for back home media while they dynamite that shit, dude. It'll look like the it'll look like nine eleven, huh? It'll look like nine twelve. No, I don't want to tell people my uh, political view. What he'll come through tonight? He says you're that good? every day, though. Dude. Oh yeah, you have to be yeah, careful you're right. with people. You're right. you're right. I've lived in Elkhart for two months. Every day he's like, "I'll come through." I've seen him three times, dude. Do we need to go kidnap him? Say, 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 You're on the air. Hello. 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 What's up? Where's dude? Where's my slave? Oh. <laughs> he was here a second ago, bro. Yeah, I think he. he uh, I think he bailed on you, dog. And some ooh. Say uh. Thank you, E40. I, I, uh, I, E40, we appreciate you bringing Christmas trees over later and palm yeah. trees. Palm trees. You got palm trees too? He's bringing the Christmas trees and palm Jeez. trees, he says. And he's got a purple heart. Hey, Trevor, who's, did, who's... You, did you get back on the internet yet? Are you doing a radio show yet? Where'd all of our people go? We had sites. Yeah. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. 
Who's on the oh, phone? Yeah, yeah. I'm just popping some popcorn, listening to you guys drink some uh, Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Uh, no, I'm asking you. Did you get your? Uh, did you get your show no. going again? No, but I need your help, though. I got my computer guy coming by at one or two today. You think uh, your buddy would help me? What's your name again, buddy? Uh, you can Hello? Uh, my name is Tyler. Tyler. Yeah, he'll help Tyler. you. Tyler. I kept thinking your name is Zach. I don't know why. Are you Are you just going to go the stream yard route? You can call me whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can show you. Okay. Basically, man, like what I do, because like stream yard doesn't have a phone call option, but we just use a... Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll walk you through it, man. There's a, You can do like a Frankenstein version and get phone calls and shit. Okay. Well, can I have him contact you? He's going to be yeah. working on my computer. Yeah, he can How contact do I get a hold us. Of you, you have his number, right? I have. I don't have your guy's number to call well, you. Okay, the uh, number you Tyler. gave me yesterday, I put in my yeah. phone, and then I texted you the word Tyler, and I never Here, post, got post my po Post my phone number in the chat. Uh, yeah, Okay. Uh, it's uh, I'll six, give that to him. His name, his name is Steve. Steve, six oh two. Oh, six oh two. E forty says he's coming over for real today. I don't believe it. Yeah, six oh two. <laughs> Tell D row. <laughs> six oh two. What? It's not, oh eight eight two. Eight 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 five. Okay, eight 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 five. And that number that we're putting in chat is just for Trevor Garner. None of you, yeah, loose but... women, better use it to yeah. text me pictures of your beeves because I'll be grossed out. He likes dick pics. Hope's in the chat. Six o okay, here, here let me put up my phone. Six oh two. Oh, there's six oh eight five. Eight eight two. Yes, sir. And then eight 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 eight. So that it's uh eight eight two eight 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 five. Eight 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 five. Okay. That's me. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, Hope? Arizona. Uh, yeah. What's crazy is I had a Kansas number but forever, six two zero. Moved to Phoenix, and then their their area code is six zero two, and I was in sales, and people were just like they couldn't figure out that the the two and the zero were changed. So I finally got an Arizona number like a year ago, and now I'm back in Kansas. Like the whole thing's fucked, if you ask me. Hey, hey, hey yeah, I've been promoting your show. Cool. I can tell, dude. We have people in here saying the n word like crazy, dude. Thank uh, you. E forty, E forty. Give us a time that you are gonna be here. We need to like it might be at this time to this time. So that we Trevor, uh, Tyler is having a conversation through chat with a rapper, thinking that he's going to tell a right time when he's going to be here. He's a rapper. He's not going to be on time, bro. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, does he have his bling on? <laughs> he's a Mexican rapper, though, so it's different. Like old team. Yeah, like South yeah. Park. Mexican. You know a guy named You know a guy named Dub, Tim Barker. Yeah, that guy's no, weird, no. dude. He says you're weird. I just no. I, I tried to get him to call in because you guys are look like a bunch of fucking weirdos. I, said, I don't know. Yeah, you say he's weird. Well, know. okay, so he uh he started listen, he started like following me like I don't know four or five years ago, and he was just mm -hmm. like a normal person. And then one day he he like messaged me or calls me, and he's like, "Hey, can you come get me at the bus station? I decided to come to Phoenix for a few weeks." <laughs> And I was like, and I have like a wife and kids. I don't know this guy at all. And I was like, uh, and I didn't answer. And then he hit up Doobie and asked Doobie if yeah. he could stay at his house for two weeks. And Doobie didn't answer him. And then he hit up Joe from Smoke Nation. And I think Joe might have gave him some smoke and got him a hotel room. But like, he just showed yeah, he, up he in Phoenix. Yeah, he just yeah, he showed up. And he's too. like, hey, can I come to your house? I'm like, no. And then now he's on like this whole status where he's like, he's trying to be cryptic in my comments. Like, I think he's trying sure. to cryptically say that the reason i'm in elkhart is to be a, a pedophile satan worshiper i'm like dude where, where, that would be cool but like where are you getting your information like he's just a weird dude man it's a weird yeah. dude uh hope wants yeah, to know yeah. what's been going on in the treehouse then she put a bunch of ha ha's tyler what's she talking about uh what's tyler how's the treehouse uh with all the ha ha's do you think like what is she what is she talking about there's no ha ha there's some ha ha's at the end of that she put ha ha's no, um to me, why would she, why would the treehouse be funny, Tyler? We'll move on. Uh, I mean, I'd send you a hog pick, but I don't think he's into cut meat. I'm not. <laughs> hey, zombie, zombie, if you're out there, call in. Oh, yeah, yeah I need you to call in. Is that zombie dude? He was the one that said we were oh, weirdos. Uh, Norm, Norm is it? Zombie will. Norm is a mm -hmm. No, and Brett, Brett from Sacramento is going to call in too. I think. Oh, cool. Brett Bucather. Brett Bucather. Bucather. Yeah. Do you like him yet? You know he has a daughter. Well, I don't know. Like, uh, he's all right. And he, he found he found out he has a daughter who's like eighteen or twenty years old that he never knew about. Do you Something think like she's that. really his daughter, though, dude? 
Yeah, yeah. I do. I you do. Because he's been sleeping around. Yeah. He no, said I he know. knew the mother, but they didn't get along. Yeah, but listen, dude, listen. I'm not saying Brett didn't get laid. I'm just saying every time he posts about his daughter, he puts like three paragraphs of like, yes, she really is my daughter. And all it screams to me is like, <laughs> bro, you should get a blood test. If you even writing that many paragraphs like tells me that you're not 100%. I don't know. Like to me, it just seems like Brett's like a single guy. He's got like a career. He would be the total guy that I would be like, hey, you're my dad because I know you're not going to look into it. You know what I mean? Well, he's retired. He's retired now. And he hangs out at Del Taco and he has no friends. He just does weeds and his, cleans his mom's yard and stuff. It just piddles around. So he's like excited. He has finally has a daughter and somebody to hang out with him. That's what I, I just hope she's really his daughter. <laughs> has there been a blood test? Well, that's a good question to ask him when he calls in. Yeah. Look, well, I yeah. Hope well, first of all, Brett Bucather calls my personal cell phone way too much. Oh, yeah, you yeah. talk to him a lot. He he's a uh, yeah. He he calls a lot, buddy. Hey, E forty. Oh, really? uh, weird. Let, let me. I'm not trying to. You know what's crazy, Trevor? He. I always nah. thought that. Uh, I always thought that you and Brett didn't get along because it, when I first met both of you, he was like the guy that was like telling everybody you were a piece of shit. But like every time Brett talks to me, he's always like, "Dude, you should check on Trevor. You should you should watch Trevor." Every time I talk to him, he's always well, he's, he's promoting for you, bro. I I know I busted his balls because I thought he's a freaking asshole. But you know he's he's uh, he picked me up once in a while. Like he would like stalk me and he stalks my show. I didn't like him, but then now all of a sudden I, I quit drinking. I go, I guess I come to like him. I don't know. I I tolerate him now. Anyone now I'm, I'm not. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was like, anyone that shows you any amount of love, like whether it's annoying or not, like, 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 you know. But you have to realize, though. It's special. That's yeah, but you have to realize, though, Trevor has never met this guy besides, like, Brett is a listener. Well, no, but I'm saying, like, how, but how he found you, like, Brett was a listener of yeah. your radio show. I've never met Brett in real life. He's a listener. So I think that there, yes, you want, you, you should be respectful of people that like you. But at the same time, when you put yourself out in a public forum, People like Tim Barker call you and say, "Hey, I'm four blocks from your house. Can I sleep at your house?" And you're That's like, "That's how Bro. I found Zombie, though. I was working at the station, and I called him to go hang out and drink one night because he kept calling the station. I said, hey, I'm gonna hang out with the listener, and I, I work at the station. And him and I have been best buddies ever since. So I don't know. Radio puts people together. Well, one of the guys that lives with me, his name's Dhe. He 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 started out as a, I I never met him until Stephanie went and picked him up to bring him to Elkhart to live with us. But he was a listener for years, man. Make that up. Make it Irving, up. He, I've never met Irving the Indian boy, and I'd oh, like to meet him. You've you know, never met I'd, Irving? Nope, never. I may have never met him in person, just on Skype, in the Skype video. And we've known each other for what, since 2016? No, 18? Somewhere in there. And I've never met the guy in person. Where is he live? Anza. You know where, you know where Anza, Anza at? Temecula? Out in out that area. Oh, is he close to you, though? Like, is he California? No, yeah, California, but he's like a uh, hundred miles away. Uh, hey, set down by between San Diego and uh, Southern California. Hey, read this comment. Yeah. Hey, Derek, love the hair twirling thing you do. Super it, cute. I've I don't know why I do. Dude, that. it's his nervous thing. Like every time he gets nervous or something, he's always doing that. So <laughs> if he's doing that. You know, he's a little bit nervous. I I've noticed stop that. now that I've been called out. I'll be doing it. Again also, in hope seconds. to answer your question. Uh, the 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 treehouse is fire, bro. It's amazing up there. Oh, uh, you know, Fra you know, Frankie McDonald. Sounds familiar. Weatherman, this this uh, autistic weatherman. He, yeah. he's like he's in, oh, he's totally infatuated with me. He sends me videos. There's a guy named Gino Bisconte. says hot wa in hot water. He wants to be on my show. I, I can hook you guys up with all these guys, and, and we can all have all our shows together. Yeah, man. Like Frankie McDonald's the guy that uh, he's the Canadian guy that just yells out the the weather reports, right? He he texts me. He like sends me videos of himself saying, "I love Trevor. I love Kimberly, Savannah, all the people on my show, Zombie Wolf. Every single hour on the hour, he does that." Hey, why 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 didn't yeah. Zombie Wolf call in? Zombie will call. I'll tell him. He'll do what I tell him. He said that he's he my, was like, my... <laughs> "Wait, wait, wait! This Frankie McDonald dude is your friend." Yeah. What? He's my best friend. No, he, he's, a, no he, he's not my friend. He's like he's my admirer. He admires me. Do you know who I that is? I hook him up with chicks and stuff. Bro, you know, 
Well, no, I okay. So, uh, what I'm saying is, I just googled that dude's name because, yeah. And then I saw, I saw like, uh, you know, pictures of him, and then I've seen that dude like on TikTok before, dude. He's hilarious. I'll have him call you right now if you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'll say, Frankie, call him. Yeah. Call him. Hey, let, me put, let me put the phone down, okay? Yeah. You yeah. Do keep, what you got to do, sir. Keep doing your, keep doing your show. Hold okay, on. for sure. Just, I'll keep me on. All right, all right, cool. Um, guess what, right. guys? Uh, Derek Brilliford is probably the grouchiest person I've ever had to be around. So if there's any ladies out here or dudes, I don't know what he's into. He won't really say. Either. Either he said. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Dude, he said. So we're we gonna talk about Cirque Dogs today. <laughs> Oh, he says, Tyler, I got to go back to it, bro. Mexican out. Hey, hey, I'll, E40, I, uh, according to you, I will see you later. What's the temps like in Kansas? Better than Phoenix? I'll believe it when I see E40. Walk hey, out. how's the weather in here compared to Phoenix, dog? It's uh, cold as shit here. Someone's calling. Dude. No, I'm calling Frankie. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. False alarm. Hey, put out, put out a E40, you better come through. Hey, and and we're, we're, and we're, we're gonna shelf his record. What does Hope mean? She says it's your girly side coming out. Is it because I tore my hair? Oh, she spelled gay wrong. Search dogs. Yeah, man, my hog. At least uh, May's here. May's here chilling. May, you should come over. We need a third party on the for the. We need a, a third party. We need a bigger mixer too. If anybody in the Elkhart area is selling a mixer, let us know. Oh, that dude. We have a. We, we probably have a couple mics though. So. Yeah, but what I was thinking is I could turn crank this one up and put get two people with. Just ra ta 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 like that. Ra. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Um. I guess uh, is this dude still in our yeah, call? Yeah, he's, he's he muted himself. He's calling for. Oh, cool. Dude, that, that, that dude's funny, right? I mean, I don't know much about him. but I that... should probably get a picture of him ready to put on the screen yeah. when he calls so people know he's on the air. Yeah. He, she says, love you, Big D. What's what's homie's name? Frankie what? McDonald? McDonald, yeah. Just like, like a Mac? Yeah. It's McDonald. Okay, so oh, I found him. apparently okay. Hope loves you. And she says, Big D. I don't know how big it is. Like, loves me like how? Like, wants to go to prom with Dude, me Tim... needs to borrow $12? Dude, look what this fool just said right here. Either way, you're good. I got you. Tim Tim Barker. Oh, it's Derek the weirdo chaser all grown up. Is that <laughs> is that cool or what? Yeah, that's cool. That's I'm telling you, dude. That's the guy. That's the guy that showed up in Phoenix and was like, Hey, I'm at the bus station. Can you come get me and let me live at your house for a few weeks? And I was like, Oh, so no. I don't know you at all, bro. You could be a you could be a fucking murderer for all I fucking know, bro. I don't know you. I'm not gonna let you sleep in the same house as my Ooh, kids. there he is. Yeah, but I'm not gonna put him up here okay. yet. It says May May is busy, but I've never seen someone talking third person before. It must be a Kansas thing. Diddy is <laughs> this dude wants to talk about Diddy is beyond screwed. She, um, May said she's busy. That's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie. Small as a penguin. That's huh? a lie. She just she just scared. Yeah, she ain't with it. She ain't with it. Look. Make sure to check back home media on. Oh, oh, oh yeah, we gotta keep checking. That, oh yeah, dude. plug that. Plug it out. We're oh, trying. We're losing shit. We're trying to get a. Uh, how many did we have to get? Oh, like a hundred. Right now, hold on. We're janked. A hundred more. We're janked. Hold on. We're good. Okay, we gotta go check. Uh, this dude says small as a penguin. Yeah, I think he's like talking. Trash That's weird. Or something. <laughs> I hey. think he's disparaging me, bro. Uh, hey, Hope says borrow twelve dollars. She needs to borrow twelve dollars. Okay. If you need to come over, borrow twelve dollars. Get over here. All right, pull up. Pull up. We got you, girl. Now, all we have is four dollars and quarters, one dollar, and then a five dollar winning lottery ticket. That's the only currency we currently have. And this girl says, "I'll take you." I'll go to, to prom with prom D. What? Check TikTok. He's have you ever seen Derek dance? It says we have 10 more followers on TikTok. Dude. dude, we got 10 right now? That's what it's saying. Dude, that's dude. a lot, though. 
think about it because we've only had like 11 people is the max i've seen in the chat yeah or i mean on the number there people keep sliding in sliding out people keep coming in you know yep i'll take you to prom sheesh i heard uh never mind i'm, I'm not gonna say nothing you don't hear nothing these days nope hey and speaking on diddy we don't want to talk about diddy man Listen, the, the rest dude. of the world's talking about diddy Listen, what we don't want to talk do about it? Diddy because Diddy do it. Tyler was actually one of Diddy's proteges. Yeah, my butthole still hurts. He's not happy with what happened that day. He hates it. Yeah, you ever had your? <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Ooh, hi, zombie. No, but said. for real though, do you think Diddy did it, dude? Here's the thing. And by did if, it, I if mean he did it, it or he didn't do, do it, sucked it rap. Is that when I, when I say he did it? Do you think he sucked it rap? I don't. I don't. I think that he's not even a thought in my head. He doesn't exist. He's he's not a bad boy. Maybe he is a bad boy. He's been trying to tell us for a long time. He's a bad boy for life. We ain't going nowhere. Hey, we should do a live karaoke. What's up? Throw a beat on, dude. I'll sing. You will? Shit, yeah, dude. I'll, I'll take the five dollar ticket. Should I stay singing cut. Five dollar foot long. For Hey, let me ask you this business wise. Why business did you put wise. LLC on the end of your TikTok name? It used to be an LLC. Well, even if it was, I'm asking why was it on the on the, the TikTok name? Uh, yeah, why? I don't know. Guys. You were trying to flex that it was an LLC? Having an LLC is not cool. I don't know. I don't Got any put in that? What Who's is that? Tim I Favro. Who's Tim I Favro? He ain't got and he said hi zombie. He's one of your people, Trevor. Yes. He's a slave. Zombie. Uh, can you do a... Can Derek, can you merge calls? Yeah, I can merge yeah. calls. Have Zombie merge. Did, did he call? Zombie, him? call it. Oh, zombie, call right now. Yeah, call Zombie right now. Call. If you're... Quit that being works, yes, but he was a little... He was little and he didn't have rhythm. And I, Frankie has your info. I gave it to him, so he'll call in in a minute. Wade Vegas right. wants to know what you think about the election commercials on TV. There's too many gays. <laughs> it's just pretty gay. It's it's a, it's a modest, you know. There's too, too many black guys kissing other white guys and black guys. Too many, there's like, At least he didn't say look, that. Look, there's like transsexual. There's transsexual commercials now. There's all kinds of stuff back. Fifties, they didn't have all that stuff. Dude, can I tell you something, man? Was, I moved to Arizona yeah. to smoke weed, man. And then when I got mm -hmm. there, uh, it was fine. And then. It was fine. And then uh, right before I moved away, I saw this commercial on uh, on t on like it was like TV. Uh, and it was uh, this guy. He was like a douchebag laying in bed with his wife and his wife gets in bed with him. And she's like, you'll never guess who I got high with today. And he's like, who? And she's like, my dad. And she pulls up this bag. I got weed delivered. And I was just like, oh, weed's gay now. I got to quit. Yeah. <laughs> if this chick's smoking yeah. weed with her dad, that's not good. Dude, my favorite uh, weed commercial is when that, that girl just like, it's like, this is your brain on drugs, and they like smack that egg, and then that girl like gets all pancaked into the couch, you know what I'm talking about? I want to know what weed she smoked to get pancaked, pancaked into the couch, dude, because I have yet to Actually, smoke that strain, dog. I think she was hitting Delta. Was it Delta? Yeah. Hey, what happened to your buddy that uh, was a big pothead that was always coming to your house, Trevor? The big pothead, the zombie? Is that zombie? Dude, I mean, is wait, that, wait, that, yeah, zombie? that's zombie. Oh, this is zombie but right I, here. But what's I think I, I think the reason I don't call him zombie is because he added me on Facebook for years and I, I always I just think of him as his real name now. This Danny. Is, yeah, Danny. Yeah, that's because I that's how I forgot is you guys called him zombie because I just had him on Facebook for I think he either I don't know if I'm we're friends anymore, but he was friends. He's a he's a cool dude, man. Yeah. Do you guys yeah, call him yeah, zombie because yeah, when he talks it sounds like he's dead? Wait, oh, no, dude. he's 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 named he's named after the zombie wolf, the song by Frank Zappa. Oh, okay. I never heard it. Dude, can this, you play dude, music on your show? No. Well, we can okay, we can play my music. Derek's just like, I don't want to. It's too cool. Can you play can you play Donkey Kong? What's that? I don't think so. Well, don't you remember that? I talked with you. I said you guys are playing Donkey Kong. That's all you do on your show. You got oh, you when, we were, when we were gaming? <laughs> yeah. Like, all you do on your show is play Donkey Kong, and I have an audio clip, and you, I started calling you like a bunch of fucking Donkey Kongers and stuff. And you said I was 
I don't know. <laughs> Dude, hey Vegas, Wade, we can't we can't go live on TikTok because we don't have a thousand. We need you to plug us out. Dog. Yeah, we need to get like a hundred. We need and like more. Ninety more followers on the talk, and then we'll be ready to rock. Yeah, no, the guy talking to his dog that he doesn't own is the best commercial about weed so far. I haven't seen that, sir, but it sounds funny. Well, that's a cool weed commercial. I, I didn't like it where it was like the the chick that like obviously is all like a horrible like just being around her scary she's like honey guess who i got high with he's like please stop yelling at me remember to wash your ball sack with bugs and wine yeah i'll wash that was my line for tom like it what does that mean he had bugs in his wine he had bugs in his wine and his lawyer's name was ball sack i called him ball sack because his real name's adam sack and i was in court the way it went down i was in court and I, they go, Mr. Sachs. And I go, no, his name's Ball Sachs. And uh, they, they got mad. The judge said, it was like, sh- basically, I, I fucked with the guy. I, I made cartoons of him, made Ball Sachs and uh, cartoons about him. And I, at the end, after three years, I finished that case. And I never paid anybody anything. Why did Tom so Lachlan take, to, take you to court? Because I called him one night drunk. With uh, Brett gave me the phone number. His cell phone and said, "Hey, call Likus and see what he's doing." I said, "Okay, I'll just call him." I, he knew of me. It's a long story. I told it on the Tom Gully show, but basically, well, he, he knew of me, huh? Was uh, like you got harassment charges, I guess. Yeah, yeah, and a restraining order against me. He put a restraining order on me. That's crazy. And uh, but he was it based on a phone call. Um, that's what happened. The zombie <laughs> and we were drunk. They were drunk that night. Uh, did and you say everything. anything overly inappropriate? Uh, well, the second time I called and said, hey, Tom, I really want to work with you. I want you on the show. And I go, come on, dude, I'm going to come get you. And it was like, it, what he goes, yeah, he said, oh, he's just stalking me. And then that's what he did. That. But it was like in a radio way, like Howard Stern and, uh, you know, what's the other guy, Imus or whatever it was like in a radio get you in the radio but it didn't, i don't know i didn't really mean i'm gonna kill him or anything you know about that. right yeah you and he just, just he ran he ran he ran with the i'm gonna get you thing man what a pussy fuck that guy and it took me to court and he tried to see my mom and her trust and take five million dollars it's all in the court papers i wonder how much and money I took he spent uh fucking with you because you didn't pay anything i wonder how much money he had to pay to like do all that shit Legal fees. I had well, my insurance company covered my legal fees. He had to pay about two hundred fifty thousand in legal fees, and what I get. What a fucking idiot! What a, yeah, what? A, because because he, because he wanted to help. settle at the beginning. He wanted to settle at the beginning, but uh, I said no thanks, and I just because I got my insurance to pay mine, the homeowner's insurance, so he sued my mom, and so they paid my insurance all the way through my my uh, lawyer. And he had to pay out of pocket to defend himself. And I said, okay, game on, buddy. You pay. I just kept showing up month after month after month for three years and let him keep paying his legal fees. And my got, mine got paid. And in the end, basically, he got what he, he settled for what he wanted to settle for at the beginning. Or we settled. But I can't say not disclosure. I can't say what it is. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah. So, okay, so you're, you're trying to tell us we should be a little careful if we're going to prank call people because they could turn around and sue our ass. No, just Tom like is I, I mean like strippers and stuff and like uh, you know strip clubs and we called them and one time I called the police and fucked with them and we used to I don't call know we dog- did a lot of stupid we did a lot of stupid things when we were drunk. We used to call Dog the Bounty Hunter, dude. It was it was I heard so a, much fun. I had a buddy who had a podcast in Scott City and they they called a hooker one night and it it, it made me not do it anymore because like. It was it was a good it was entertaining, but they basically told her they were in a hotel room in Wichita, and she went all the way there and knocked on the door, and like some stranger answered the door. Oh, that's fucked up. And then they felt so bad that they like I think they like Venmoed her some money for like fucking with her time and shit. But like, wow. yeah, I was just like, oh man, that's not good. I have the audio file of the police call. Brett says Brett's here. Hey, and also welcome back, Hope. Welcome back. Well, Hope is back in the in the gym. Yeah. She's here to go. She's you know how loyal Brett's she is. There? If you can merge bread, we would merge bread on bread on right now. Everyone be sure Brett to send Derek him. some likes so we can all future episodes of him. Okay, I just got a text message from Hope. What'd she say? It's a picture of May not being busy. Oh what is she's she? like, this is May being busy, and she's just sitting there. Let me see. Do this. Oh, I got a question, Derek. 
Bitcoin miners. I saw a thing on your video about mining Bitcoin. Can you explain that to me? My video said mining Bitcoin? Well, there was something that said you had a video before where you were talking about like uh, uh, oh, psychological problems or it was it was in between the bedroom radio and after it was after that. Okay. So somehow some mining video came. But anyways, do you understand this Bitcoin mining and this Bitcoin having? Oh, Let's have that as a conflict. I know what you're talking about. So me and Norm had one of Norm's coworkers come on, and he talked about mm -hmm. Bitcoin for an hour. And then after the show, I asked Norm, what the fuck did he just say? I don't understand it at all, dude. I to me, it sounds like don't. a lot of work, dude. Like, he, I mean, I'm sure the guy's loaded, but, like, he, he was trying to explain like how he mines bitcoins and all that shit, dude. It just I got yeah. lost. I was like, I don't know what it the was fuck like a garage. It was like a garage, a bunch of computers and a fan. Dude, yeah, and, and I have no idea what that guy said that night, dude. Even neither does Norm. We were both like, yeah, we have no fucking clue what that was about, dude. Like that so was you're not well versed on Bitcoin. I, I could explain it to you in a very simple way. Go ahead. I'd love to learn because I don't know anything about it. Okay. 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 Well, um, I'm gonna have to charge you guys like five bucks for this little mini seminar. Huh? Hey, I just bought a whole bunch of Bitcoin mining stock. That's why I want to know. And I bought oh, some oh, Bitcoin. What, okay, so so you you bought you bought stock already? Uh, yep, I own a whole bunch. Okay, well, and you own a, a bunch. whole bunch of fractions of one. Do you know what? Do you know which one you got it in? Clean Spark. Oh. Oh, uh, not I, I, not not marathon, not marathon. Clean Spark. So what you're doing is you're not you're not you're not investing in Bitcoin. You're actually investing in like the mining companies that are, yeah. That are, see, that's what's crazy about Bitcoin. Like, to, and again, I'm sure it all makes sense that, to people who fucking have brains and shit. But um, like, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Like, go ahead and explain, like, what does mining Bitcoin mean, Tyler? Okay, so so basically, what you're doing is is you're 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 taking something that exists, uh, not physically. OK, this is where this is where it's like, well, uh, that doesn't make sense. You know, normally mining was a shovel and fucking mining for gold. You know how they do that. Right. So this is right. like you're basically and I'll use the word manifesting. You are manifesting something that doesn't exist into something that does exist using a computer. That's the right. easiest. That's the easiest way to do it. Like, you know, just just imagine the computer is manifesting a bunch of non fungible thing or you know like just, nfts yeah well i mean fungible turds well I, I was just using nfts as, as an example because it's another thing that doesn't exist but it exists you know how how the fuck do well, people they're creating, they're creating they're creating a market for something that didn't exist before exactly. and people are putting money with putting money into it and in the end the bitcoin is going to having they're saying that it's going to be more rare than gold to get to own a bitcoin because it's more more it's rarer than gold to get one and there's a whole bunch of money going into this by banks and by institutions and by people and they're like crazy and they're like keep putting money and they said basically it's not it's not for uh it's not currency they really it's property it's like well, your it, house you it's keep like money into your house and you never want to sell it you just want it to keep getting rarer and rarer like gold like you put gold in a safe and it's like something as it keeps getting rare and rare, it goes up in value. You never sell it. Who and told it just you keeps this? Going up, and that's what I've been doing all the research on it. Oh, so okay. you you never want to spend it. Like in a hundred years, if you bought like for sixty nine thousand dollar Bitcoin now, it could be worth like six million dollars in ten years. Well, well, okay. Because it's so rare. Well, I think that there's a, a generational gap there because, uh, like I'll follow like Wall Street bets on Reddit and shit, and you'll see like. So like there's there's people who will get into like uh like uh stock the stock market and they they're just they just they're just trying to make quick money and some of them are successful but I think the majority of people that are just being risky like that are going to lose their money but like people like my dad he plays he's a he's the kind of person who will just like Trevor said like he he he'll buy a stock and then his thing is like I'll die with that stock. He's like, because, because he, he's, he's right. and the thing is, is he's kind of right, dude. Like on one of them, like basically, he he doesn't have a high school degree. He dropped out a, a he dropped out in ninth grade, but he worked in the oil field his whole mm -hmm. life. So he invested. He saw what was happening in uh, pre uh, what was was it was it Russia and Ukraine was the first. Oh, yeah, so he he kind of saw what that that was going to pop off. 
So my dad like mm -hmm. invested in a bunch of companies that were basically like supplying oil for war efforts and shit. And he made a fuck ton mm -hmm. of money and he cashed that out real quick. But I think that yeah. like, really it's smarter to keep, you know, obviously he, he had a bunch in there. So he cashed out like 280 K from that one mm -hmm. win. But I, I think, I think, with Trevor, what Trevor's kind of saying, like the older generation, it is smarter to hold on to it. But I do think there are people in the younger generation that can do the quick release stuff. But I think most of them are just idiots that lose all their money. Oh, okay. well, I, I could have made a lot of money already, and I, I didn't buy it right and I didn't sell right. You're timing the market, you can't time it. You can't tell when it's going to be the top. All of a sudden, the bubble burst and go straight down again. You don't know. So if you just let the market do what it does over a year, in the end, it'll like go up and down and fluctuate but at the end you know it'll just keep going up 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 you um, just can't keep trading it okay so 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 and, and i know that you uh, okay this is just my opinion i know you've done your research you're entitled to all of that information the information that i know on on this uh bitcoin Mine. is like like the dude that i follow he's 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 in the paper platoon so he's obviously getting money but this dude is trading bitcoin every i mean like this, dude. He's like doubling, tripling, doubling, tripling, doubling, tripling several times during the day. He's not he's not getting some and then hoarding it and waiting for that, you know, waiting for the prices right. He he's like once he sees a, a little bit of a spike, it's gone and then he's on to the next one. So what I'm saying is, you know, keep but how many times does he lose compared to win? I mean oh oh this, always, this person how do you know if he's Oh, yeah, he can lose well, sometimes too. I'll, I'll I'll plug you into this dude, and he'll give you uh, he, he'll explain it to you. But he's winning. Uh, I'd say ninety five percent of the time he's winning. I I've only seen him take. I've I've known this dude for a couple years, or I've been watching him. You know, uh, I've only seen him take like two L's really, and in the L's like he doesn't make risky enough bets to where he's gonna lose a bunch of money anyways. He might put five hundred dollars or you know whatever it converts to over to Bitcoin. And then it turns into twelve hundred, so he pulls it and then reinvests, and you know, so he's always, yeah, he's he's always getting that bag. But like I said, he's watching. Um, he 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 has three computer screens. We think two is a lot. He's got three. One is just he's analyzing numbers, and this dude has a bot that analyzes numbers. That's gonna be like, hey, this this might hit, this might hit, this might hit, this might hit. So there's definitely cheat codes. So well, there is, but I think at the same time, like you're. You're you're talking about two different things. Trevor's playing poker, and your buddy's on a penny machine trying to get rich. Like they're both they're no. both they're both good. But the thing is, is I think that your buddy is working nine thousand times harder than Trevor is. When you just park it, like well, you, because... they're both right. Your, your your buddy's right for doing it, but he's also probably has a brain that most people don't have. Your buddy's sounds pretty sitting in front of the computer dude. 24 hours a day because Bitcoin's like moving 24 yeah, 7. Yeah, your buddy sounds yeah. smart. Up and down, up and down. But, but so, uh, and what's your name, Trevor, sir? This this is one of those things where if you have enough money, you can hire someone like my friend to do all the shit that you don't know about, that he knows about, and he, you know. Yeah. That, yeah. He, he, but how he, do you trust him not to take your money? Well, how do you trust anyone, dude? I'm, I know people that have been married for right. 20 years that have, their wife took all their money. So it, it's yeah, it's and these a, guys know the computer. They can like they, they take old people's money and they can snatch it. And the old people, they don't understand the system. They say, Oh, sorry, I lost your money. And then yeah. you're like out. I mean, young people do that to old people that have well, money. We yeah, they, they, they do, they do. And but this you can't, you don't know what you're talking about. And you just well, believe them. They, that's how they. That's how the kids scam old people. They come in. One guy came into my place and he's saying, "Buy this coin," and I said, "A Dodge coin, or do uh, Dodge, Doge, Doge, Doge. Doge coin." And then he goes, "Get a uh, do mini Doge or something." I go, "Why?" He goes, "It's brand new." And I go, "Oh, why?" He goes, "I got all my money invested. You can be a whale." So why do you want me to be a whale? Put like a hundred thousand in. He goes, "Cause then my coin will go up." Goes, exactly. He wants you selling me. There's the sales thing again. He's selling me on this new coin that he's in it because if I put my money in, his coin goes up. He's out yeah. running around propping up his coin, the new one. It's a pyramid scheme. And he'll pull the plug on me, and then I get screwed, and, and I lose my money. And he's, he's he'll sell his as soon as I put my money in and take my money. That's the way I look at it. Right, right. See, I make well, the pipe prop the price up, and then he sells and takes the money I just put in, and I'm 86. Well, <laughs> right? to, be on, to be honest, this, this dude, uh, 
like because he came at me was like yo i i got a good investment yo just just get in while you can i'll help you yada 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 i was like bro i ain't got like i ain't got the funds to do it right now he's like oh i got you dude i'll put you i got you for 500 in and then when you make that 500 just pay me back and then keep it going so that's what i mean the dude i don't think he's he's worried about trying to steal other people's money well okay but again okay so i've all in that same in that vein that so like when I Ray Romano did like a DVD like ten years ago, it was just him, him and a few buddies went out on a comedy tour, and the one part of the movie, the documentary that I focused on was at the end of every uh, show, he was like a dick. He was like, "No, I want a check. I want a cash, or I want check." And then finally, like somebody like it was, this wasn't supposed to be part, a big part of the documentary. I just kind of picked up on it, and then somebody was like asking him like, "Why do you, why do you keep asking for checks?" And he goes, "Because." He's like, people don't realize. He's like, I'm like worth like a billion dollars or whatever. He goes, I don't see that. He goes, it's in a machine. He goes, so when I do stand up, I want that cash. I want a check so I can take it and put it into a different bank account so I can see that money. Ray Romano said this on a documentary. He goes, right now, my money guy says I'm worth like such and such hundred million. I've never seen it. He's like, yeah. my bills get paid, all that shit. Yeah. Basically, there is a, do, are they stealing his money? But what it is, is when, when you get rich, you basically, and we're, we're talking about two separate things here, but you basically hand your money to like people, you hand your money to people that are going to quote unquote uh, care for your money. But who's to say they're not just doing whatever they want with it and just making sure your bills are getting paid every month and giving you your allowance that you agreed on? It's borrowing your own money. So like Ray Romano was saying, like, I don't want any money going to, ray romano enterprise you know whatever it is because i'll never fucking see it he's like yeah. I'll, you know I'll, I'll be told it go ahead i'll tell you why because that's new money he just earned and he wants to see that money that he, for like a uh, fruits of his labor he yeah. got that's brand new money it's not old money that he made a long time ago he wants to see that what he did that night he got money for and he looks at it and he goes okay i got paid for what i did tonight not for what i did 20 years ago and he wants to see it at least it's in his hand that's what I think. That's why he has another. Jay Leno does the same thing. He has two bank accounts. One is his stand-up account, and one is what he made for the Tonight Show. He does the same thing because he wants to know that what he's doing now, he's being profited from, not from what he did in the past. Right. And it doesn't. He doesn't want to commingle it. He wants to see what he got for this and what he got for that. Well, so and commingle the money. The only reason I said that, like you, you wouldn't necessarily want to hang on to your, um, Bitcoin is because, uh. You know, think about this. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a hundred thousand by the end of the year. Sixty nine. I just bought some. That's How much did you invest? Added. I only bought a portion of it. Like I bought twenty five hundred yesterday, but oh. I don't know. I might buy more today. You know what's crazy though? Like okay. uh, I, I've opened because uh, I have like several bank accounts, and I opened two new ones in the last two months. And both of these, like when you open up your app. It tells you like what your what your balance your account balance is, and it also has an option like, hey, do you want to you want to store bit? So like even banks are like bringing in Bitcoin. So like I think there was a while there people were saying that Bitcoin was never gonna be official, but I mean the fact that like uh, my Capital One account, like they say, do you do you have any Bitcoin that you want to add? Like that's 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 I think it's here to stay. It's very fun. Well, <laughs> well, let me ask you this, so Tyler, you probably know. So is Bitcoin one of those things where, uh, like, money, they just keep printing more and more of it? Is Bitcoin, they, they, there's only a certain amount of coin and that's it? Or how does that work? Well, yep. um, because because of the whole mining thing, that's what makes it valuable. It's like uh, you have to have, like, a you know, a whole room full of computers and, and shit to, to, to start mining it. No, but, there, but Derek, there's only, there was only so much. You could, that the, it was a cap. There's no more that it will be ever be made. But, but you, ha you have to put it in a, a virtual wallet. You guys understand that, right? Yeah, I got that crypto.com. Yeah. I just bought it on there. What yeah, what I just, put, I just bought it on there. And you put it I'll, on your credit card. And I put on a zero interest credit card. I just bought it on zero interest and let it go up. Pay the credit card back if it goes up, which hopefully it will. And then I just keep the profit. But how do, and the problem is how do I get my money out of out of it once I it goes up? And usually on there it says you can only use it to buy merchandise from stores that take cryptocurrency. Right. That's another thing. Um how do you cash out for cash at the well, end? I don't. Yeah. I don't understand that part either. Okay, so like, like this. Uh, the, from what I understand, there's this, like this girl that I follow. She has this like little red. I mean, it looks like a little vape thing, but it, it's like her her wallet with uh crypto on it, and you can take that to any. Well, not I don't want to say any. Uh, you can take that to certain ATMs and pull your cash out that way. You can convert it that way. Mm -hmm. There's uh. A bank of america they have a system where you know 
you can convert your Bitcoin to cash for, you know, a percentage or whatever they do. Well, okay, Tyler, let me ask you this. So the miners, do they oh, want the Bitcoin I just bought today? Well, they mine, they mine for my Bitcoin. They want to buy mine. They want to mine for my Bitcoin. They want to buy my Bitcoin from someone or buy Bitcoin from people. How do they, they that's what they're accumulating Bitcoin and well, then making a profit. Yeah, yeah. See, see. So I don't know because I don't. I didn't talk to who you bought from. So I don't. I didn't know if you if you bought com. from where. Crypto dot com. Oh, crypto dot com. Okay. Uh, um, what I'm saying is, I didn't know if if you bought like like with the stock market. You know, I didn't know if you had bought stocks that were already on the market or if you bought stocks that yeah, are coming bad. into the market. No, but I got one. It's the top, there's top three miners: it's Clean Spark, Marathon, and there might be one more. But the ones, the Clean Spark, the reason uh -huh. that it has to do with uh, has to do with cost of uh, energy. That to for the for the computers and everything uh -huh. to run them to run them to run them off the electrical, you know, the uh, power power supply. Yeah, costs a lot of money. They're using like solar energy and stuff to run it. So their cost of energy is lower than any other one to run their system. So that's oh, that, why I'm bought into that one. Go ahead. Uh, hold on. I got a few comments here. I got one privately uh, from uh, uh, on Snap. It says um, you don't really if you say you have like if you're just like a you're just one person and you're mining yourself. It says it's kind of hard to make a lot of money because it's a gigantic computer system you have to use to mine. And the electricity right. is pretty expensive. So, like, it's it's right. that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, buying it and sitting and just letting it sit still is one thing. Uh, but like, I think your buddy's smart. But at the same time, I think I think he's he's a lot smarter than a lot of people. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is boring. Uh, Bitcoin is the way the government controls us, and the scams scams out there with Bitcoin destroy people's lives. My opinion is the same as the stock market. It's risky. Might as well go to the casino. I can agree with that a little bit. Bobby says never understood what the GPUs are doing and why it matters. What's he, is he talking about? The, okay, wait a minute. Is it so boring? How come all these the big uh, you know banks and everybody's getting into it and retirement funds are buying it into their into their four hundred one k's and their uh, funds? All these funds are buying it. If it's so boring, there's how much money is being put into it by China and other countries into the Bitcoin. Well, there's okay. money flowing in. Well, Trevor, whenever you get off the phone here, look up uh, Bitcoin Bank, Elkhart, Kansas. Like four months ago, uh, the guy who was running the bank here in town, there's 1,100 people in this town, and he uh, basically asked a farmer to borrow $12 million because he said that he had uh, he had, he had an opportunity in, in uh, China or, or Japan or somewhere, uh, and it, it involved Bitcoin. And basically that farmer went and kind of started asking questions. And now it's, it's, it's a pretty big, it's a nationwide story, but Basically, the guy lost, like I think it was fifty-two million dollars in a Bitcoin scam. Well, I got the I got right. the audio, Brett. Uh, I'm gonna play it here in a little bit. We're uh, we're just talking about this right what, now. What I, what I wanted to tell you guys to think about this, okay? And then I'm gonna go get my phone in for a second. But I'll get think, going. Think about this, okay? Uh, if if you think about uh the total amount of money that's already uh in circulation, like mm -hmm. like. Only 2% of it is actually on paper. So the rest of it is digital anyways, and we just don't realize it, you know? It's just numbers, like, going from here to there, you know? It, it doesn't yeah, make and they sense. Yeah, and they can, print, they can print more of it, too, the government. But you can't print more Bitcoin. Well, well okay, we so print. let's say Derek writes me a check, right? It's just a piece of paper. I can go put that piece of paper in my bank account, and then numbers go up, or, you know, and then numbers go down from his. But there yeah, was that's no the way it's been forever. Huh? That's the way it's been forever. If your dollar was worth a dollar, now it's worth 85 cents when they print more money. Now it's worth 75 cents if they print more money. It keeps going down in value as the government keeps printing more money. Well, so there's well, more out there. It devalues your money. That's what well, also I've heard that I've heard the argument made that um the only the only reason that our money has any value is faith because it's backed by yep. literally nothing anymore. It used to be yeah, backed by gold. gold. Like now it's literally paper and, and it's it's faith is what is what lets people spend money in America. Well, but on yeah. Bitcoin, it never changes. And it's always going to be what it was. I mean, it's you can never print more Bitcoin. It's always going to be that exact amount as made. That'll never be any more. And why do you think all these the government wants to tax it? I think they're afraid of it. 
because all these well, people are having are buying the Bitcoin now. But and would, you avoid consider, taxes. would you consider Bitcoin like a, a worldwide currency? Like anybody who is scared of like new world order shit? They're like, hey, uh, like you know, universal? Yeah, because yeah, that, that is like yeah. a yeah. universal yeah. currency. Yeah. It is through the computer and nobody can trade. Well, they want it. The governments want to trace it, but I don't know. They have drug deals. You were talking about gaming, too. Yeah. Say this guy says, This guy's right. The armored trucks can only move so much physical money monthly. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. But what I'm going to get off. I'm going to get off. Hey, guys, I'm going to get off. Frankie wants to call you right now. Is that okay? Yeah. Yep. Tell him to give us a call. Yep. Man. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Bye bye. Love you. Dude, sober Trevor's a lot better than drunk Trevor. Dude, yeah, because that guy seems like he... But at the same time... um, Jeff Davidson says it's backed by military and most of the world uses it to buy oil. Yeah, that's 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 a, yeah. that's true. I was just saying, like, uh, like you know, when money first started, it was backed by, like, gold and silver, and now it's, like, not. Yeah, in 1933, it's backed by the full faith and credit of the United States, right? Or the yeah. government. Yeah, which, I mean... I would I I believe in I believe in our military. You know, yeah. like I was just trying to get this person to I would write a check if knowing the military was gonna cash it. You know, I believe in our military. Yeah, I was just trying to get him to understand that like just because it's not a physical item doesn't mean that it doesn't have value or that it doesn't exist. Cause like I said, I mean there, you know, I can send someone money over over uh you know, cash app. It's like there was no cash involved, it was just numbers. Uh, Brett says, uh, sober Trevor is way better than drunk Trevor. Agree, man. Uh, it was backed by gold until 1913. I think there is a gold act. That's when federal took over. It's not been go back since then, if I remember right. Yeah. It's 1933, sir. Oh, 1933. Yeah, but it's, it's just crazy, man. Like, it's just crazy. Like, you know, it's, uh, I think, uh, I, I don't know anything about Bitcoin. Now, if anybody offered me Bitcoin, like for, to pay for something that they owe me money, I would probably take it just because. At this point, you know, like it's pretty. I think it's here to stay. Uh, but uh, it's not something that I I know a whole lot about at all. And then if I did get Bitcoin, I'm pretty sure I would just hold on to it. I don't think I would try to set up like any kind of mining situation. Uh-huh. You can mine, dude, but you're gonna have to get your own house, man. You're not gonna run up my. You're not gonna run up to Jules, fucking mining, dude. I can't do that. I can't do that, bro. Let's check these messages. Let's see what we got in the uh, in the old chat room here. See if we got any private messages. Nope. Here we go. Uh, we might be getting a call from Frankie McDonald any second. There's snow cones here. Where? Next to Jim Dandy? They're open? I didn't know they were open. Nine oh two, you're on the air. I'm doing great so far. It's Frank Del Three, nice out in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Some of those compound media guys came to Sydney, Nova Scotia on Monday. Like Gino and Scotty, the host of the Hot Water Show on Compound Media. Love it, Frankie McDonald. Can I can I tell you something real quick, buddy? Yes, yeah. I'm a big fan. Yes, I'm doing great so far. Savannah is still in California. She's doing really great so far. Savannah loves love me so much and Ida's Kim Schreier. Really? Hey, yeah. you know, I think I, I think most people know you because you went did you go on Tosh.0 first? Was that the first time you got like uh nationwide recognition? Yes, see to episode 13, 2010. Okay, what was that? Was was Tosh pretty nice to you when the camera wasn't rolling? Yeah, that's awesome, man. So uh I follow you on social media. I'm a big fan of yours. Uh what 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 is life like for Frankie McDonald in 2024? Like what what is a typical day for you, sir? It was went really it went really, really great. Gino Biscante and Kyle and all those comp some of those compound media guys came to Sydney Nova Scotia for Eclipse on Monday, April 8, 2024. They travel all the way from New York City to Sydney, Nova Scotia on Sunday, April 7th. And they came to see me in person on April, Monday, April 8th and Sunday, April 7th. Gino Piscotti, the host of the Hot Water Show on Compound Media. Love it, buddy. Love it. So what are you doing today, Frankie? I'm doing great so far. You're doing great? Just went for a walk. 
and Savannah really loves me so much. So is Kimberly Schreier. The team with Savannah's friends that worked at Elsa Eden, California. Wow, buddy. So you're friends with Trevor Garner? Yes. Yeah. It's Savannah and Kimberly. That's cool, man. So uh you see who I'm talking to here, do you hear? You've seen Frankie McDonald on on uh he does, he's the guy that yells out the, the weather. Yeah, man. So are you you're are you in Nova Scotia still? Yes, I'm in Sydney, Nova Scotia still. And Savannah's in California. Savannah used to now she used to work for Helsing Eaton and another some of her friends. She loves me so much. Do you do you uh do you pretty much do you like when you go out in public do you do you get uh recognized by people every day? Yes, I get I get recognized by people things like this. And, uh, they got in the picture taking me things like this. Compound media all the way from New York came down to see me on Sunday, April seventh and Monday, April eighth. That is awesome, Frankie. That is awesome, man. What got you into uh, meteorology? What makes you What makes you pay attention to the weather? When I was a little boy, I wanted to go off. I wanted to be a weatherman. Did the weather scare you at all? Hail storms and blizzards set the old, and they say hail storms is the scariest that can do a lot of damage. Frankie, I'm from I'm from Elkhart, Kansas, and I am I when I was a kid, I wanted to be a weatherman too, but it was only because I was very afraid of tornadoes. And Storm Chaser Aaron J. Jack came to Sydney, Nova Scotia for Hurricane Fiona on September 23rd, 2022. Aaron J. Jack, the Storm Chaser of South Dakota, met me in person. He came to Sydney, Nova Scotia for Hurricane Fiona. Did you get to get in the in the car, the cha- the storm chasing car? He got in a video with me. It's on his YouTube channel. Nice, Frankie. Have you ever seen a tornado? In real life? You there, Frankie? I think we lost Frankie. We lost Frankie, big dog. It's over. That's all we get of Frankie. Well, I got to tell you. Pretty stoked about Frankie calling the show. That's uh, uh, you missed the whole Frankie interview, dude. No, I watched it on my phone. It yeah, I mean, long. We, uh, we need to turn down the the mic on the that speaker because it's coming through our our microphones and then echoing. Donut Taco about it has snow cones right now. She says, "Let's go." It's Frankie, the one trick pony. Well, yeah, it's the real Frank Frankie McDonald dog. I yeah. rolled deep. I missed it. Damn it. Compound media. <laughs> uh, Gino, Frankie, we lost you, buddy. Yes, yeah, sir. I saw the funnel real life. And not a tornado. I just saw a funnel cloud sitting on the shed before. Wow. Dude, tornadoes are very the the weather is very, very it's very powerful, Frankie. Like it's it's crazy that like the the atmosphere can destroy like physical things. They can do uh, that wind can destroy things. And what about the earthquake in Japan in March 11, 2000? The 11 Japan had a 9.0 earthquake. Did a lot of shaky cars of tsunami. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, hey, Frank. In, fact, have... in, in the year 2013, meteors shattered all the windows in somewhere in Russia. Frankie, what kind of music do you like? I like the different kinds of music and things like this. He just by presidents of the United States of America and Billy Joe Wheat didn't start the fire. Oh, presidents of the United States of America? That's a solid choice, Frankie. Hey, did, did, Frankie, did you hear Did you hear Fallout Boy's new version of We Didn't Start the Fire? Yes, I heard that before. And Tom Petty Free Fall and Tom Petty Zombie to Eagles Hotel, California. Ooh. Hey, Frankie, have you ever heard of Rebel Nasty? It's another kind of band. It, it, it's his band. He's trying. He's trying to plug himself. <laughs> Don't listen to it. It's not any good. It's uh, my. It's my music. I was just seeing if you ever heard of it. Frankie, who's your favorite? Uh, who's wh- who's your favorite podcaster? 
I like a lot of podcasters. Hey, Frankie, someone wants to know, do you like big boobies? Hey, you're nice ones all together. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Me too, bro. Exactly. Me too. <laughs> hey, Frankie, you can call us whenever you want. All right. Hey, uh, what what all television shows have you been on, Frankie? I was on Canadian Broadcasting Corporation News in 2013, and another television. I was on CBC Debaters Radio show in 2019 on the radio on CBC Radio Debaters Comedy Show. Dang. And now you've been on the Back Home Media. CBC debaters. And did you hear about this? And um, that was another comedy show. I was on CBC debaters on CBC radio within Canada. Uh, dude, do you, okay. So speaking of Canada, I have, I have a couple friends. Well, I, my only friends really live in Canada, but, um, do you, do you like Freddie dread? Yeah, nice one. Yeah. He's nice one, huh? He's good. Uh, one time I got Freddie Dread to um like slide in the DMs of, of this little kid in my town because he was like a huge fan. Yes. yes. Me and Freddie go way back. Yes. yes. Yeah, we're friends. So what are you doing today, Frankie? I'm doing great. I went for a walk now. I'm relaxing. I'm getting ready to go on the compound media. Oh heck yeah. Um, someone said, ask him what he thinks about true, what, what is that? Trudeau. Trudeau. He's the current prime minister of Canada right now. Do you like him? That means that there's another guy in the, and in the, he's been a prime minister since 2015. First, a lot of people like him and they start to dislike him because just like any other politicians, that means they start to like him first and start to dislike him. Yeah, true. Do you like America? That means it's down America. People select the president first. They start to get tired of it after a while. Same with anybody because everybody's different. Yeah, you're right. With their opinions. Right. How old are you, Frankie? 39 years old. I'll be 40 on Wednesday, April 24th. Oh, your birthday's coming up, man. You got any big plans? I have karaoke on my birthday on the 24th. Oh, you love karaoke. What's your favorite song to karaoke? We didn't start the fire by Billy Joel. Oh, I bet you do a good job. Hey, we were gonna try to do some live karaoke sometime. Whenever we get that set up, we'll have you on we'll have you on the show, okay? Yeah. And uh, uh, Savannah worked for a healthy evening in California. A lot of her friends love me so much as well. Well, I love you, Frankie. Okay. Hey Frankie, Jared Peterson wants to know what you think about Anthony Anthony Kumia's politics. Anthony Kumi runs the compound media in New York City. He's not associated with any political party at all, any politics. Yeah, good job. Hell yeah, that's the way to be, yeah. man. Frankie, you're you're awesome. I just wanted to tell you that, okay? Yes. And I, and I appreciate you calling into the show, man. That that's cool. Yeah. Can we be friends? Yeah. See you soon. Hey, Frankie, you, I, I hey. follow you on on Facebook, man. I uh, I really I really like watching your. I like when you run into your fans and you post your pictures with your fans. And uh, oh, talk a little bit about your April Fool's prank. Did a few people get upset about your April Fool's prank this year? Like your major so started hitting Nova Scotia, but we only had ten centimeters or so. That was the tenth of April Fool's joke I made up. <laughs> did anybody get mad? <laughs> that means I I did, did a second video saying April Fool's. <laughs> uh, that's so awesome man I, 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 I saw you I saw the video where you said it was an April Fool's joke and I saw a few people put the angry face reactions I was like oh no they got mad about his uh, his April Fool's joke that usually means it's a good joke yeah, yeah. someone said happy early birthday dude yes yeah. cool well, everybody follow Frankie McDonald on Facebook. He's world famous. He's been on Tosh.0. Oh. He's been all over the all over the internet, all over TV. Frankie, we, we appreciate you giving the weather reports. And uh, save this number. Call us anytime, man. We'd love to talk to you, okay? Yes, and Kimberly Schreier's doing great. Any other girl, Savannah's doing great. Savannah her, and her friends love you so much. We love you too, buddy. Well, hey, the girl that said happy birthday, her name's Hope. She's a podcast host. She hosts the podcast seven day circle 
Uh, she's yeah, a big yeah. fan of yours. Yes. Yeah. All yeah. right, Frankie. We'll talk soon. Okay. Thank Have you. a good day, buddy. Love you, bro. Be Frankie McDonald on, on the Derek Rebel for sure. That's how Dude, we. That's how we got it here. on day two. That's how we do it on day two. I mean, what? Who did Dodgecast have on this week? Was it uh not? It was not Frankie McDonald. No. <laughs> you can you just go ahead and leave that picture up there, though. That's pretty cool. Dude, I've decided. <laughs> I've decided. Uh, I'm going to make fun of Jared Peterson every day until he comes to visit me. Dude. Uh. Exactly. He's lazy. He's a dick mouth. He's just down the block. But he can't even visit the home. He's basically Jenny from the block, but he just won't. He won't chill. Are you following that? Oh. So you know that song, I'm Just Jenny from the Block? So apparently, like, 100 years ago when that song was written, they found some, like, no-name chick singer to do, like... So the, it's not her song, but she was the first to record it. They basically... The songwriting team wrote the song for Jennifer Lopez, Jenny from the Block. They got this chick to do the... Uh, what's it called? The demo track to show Jennifer Lopez. And when Jennifer Lopez heard it, she said, okay, I want to do that song. And there was five other songs they did for her. And she was like, but I, I love this girl's voice. I want to keep her voice in this because Jennifer Lopez also is not a great singer. So if you listen to Jenny from the Block, this chick, her voice is all over it. Also, four other songs on the album. So this week on TikTok, she she made a comment basically saying that uh, she, looking back, it was 20 years ago. She got paid thirty five hundred dollars to be on five Jennifer Lopez tracks. And a lot of her tracks they kept were ad libs. And if you get to the legal nitty gritty of it, an ad lib is original content. Yeah, it is. That is that is a line. An ad lib is a line in the song that when you're talking paper, pe uh, pen to paper, who gets paid what? An ad lib is worth more than a scratch track any day of the week. Right. Uh, so she basically is coming out saying that Jennifer Lopez, uh, and it wasn't really she. She's not really calling out J Lo. She's talking out the people who. Who handled JLo's business? They screwed her over in that deal. Also, while she was recording it, the producer there uh cornered her in the room and was like, I need a kiss. And she's like, No. And he goes, Well, if you don't give me a kiss, I'm gonna hit delete. So she gave him a peck on his cheek and he tried to like grab her. And she was like, dude, I'll fucking scream and kill you if you don't let me out of this room. And she said, ever since that day, uh, she was basically taken off all the projects and she got a check for she got thirty five hundred dollars handed to her, and that was the end of it. Uh, but that's why I love like like tiktok and all these new things dude like like the whole diddy thing like cat williams exposing five people two months ago and now everybody's like do you think diddy did it probably probably i don't know i don't really care to talk about it but it's right. just it's just the tip of the iceberg dude anybody out there that's a celebrity is probably a shit bag uh looks like that girl kirstie alley she's from kansas uh when she died uh i posted on something like kirstie, you know rest in peace kirstie alley and like half of my friends from wichita were like dude i worked at her house one day because i'm a service guy and she's a twat like yeah. like just horrible people you know what i mean yeah. but like what are your thoughts on that like some lady who was no let's let's talk about let's talk about music dude what do you do you think that's an injustice that she was paid that little on an album that probably made probably 20 million dollars at least do you think that's like is that like uh the business or do you think that's like gross and disrespectful well okay think about this uh mcdonald's is a corporation right yeah but they don't really sell burgers they sell real estate but go ahead and finish your point thank you thank they you. really do sell real estate well what i'm getting at is a business model is um the corporation mcdonald's makes a fuckload of money but the dude flipping the burger it doesn't necessarily like you know, but he's he's the one that is uh, the reason that they're making all that money, right? Yeah. But 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 McDonald's, the corporation, uh, there's only a select few board members that are rolling in dough. Everyone else is uh, minimum wage. So I I think that it doesn't matter what industry you're in. There's always going to be a top dog, and there's always going to be people getting taken advantage. It doesn't matter at what level, you know. What I'm trying to say is, is, yeah, it's fucked up that they did make all that money, but they're not they're not the only one doing shit. They're not the business. first person to pay a, a good singer shit money. Well, think about this, dude. There was a dude around here that would fucking go get help, and when it was time to pay, kill him, go get help. You see what I mean? It's it's like... Is that proven, though? Well, I heard that story from you. But I told you it probably wasn't true. I don't think the Vintner Farm thing is true. I really don't. I'm not being like, oh, we're on air. You well, caught me. Like, I really... No. 
all, all I'm saying is the story that I told you about the killings and stuff yeah. happened in Stratton, and there's like a book about it. And you, oh, were, oh, 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 and you were like, "No, that happened over here," and I'm like, "What?" Oh, well, like, that, 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 but that's that, that's that's an old thing. Like, if 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 somebody does a bunch of work for you and you owe them money, you can always shoot them. You know what I mean? They, they, you don't owe them money anymore. Like it's probably not the first. But here, okay, let's talk about this. McDonald's. Most people think McDonald's sells burgers. They Ooh. do, but the company McDonald's, the organization. Like put it this way, anytime you pull up to a McDonald's, that's not that's not really owned by McDonald's. You know what I mean? That's a franchise, that's a group of people who bought a building to get that bought a company together and they're they're basically selling shit using the the the, the McDonald's name and shit, but they they're really selling real estate. They're trying to sell buildings read, to people. Read what read what Hope just said. Absolutely, but that's how it always been. Tyler hit the nail on the head. No, I'm just saying that it doesn't matter what industry. There's always someone's going to get taken advantage of. It doesn't matter. Just Jared Peterson says they are dragging J Lo, dude. She's she's a uh, she's she's a, uh, but they're all going to fall, dude. Like at this, at this point, like, but the thing is, this doesn't matter. Like we're no, sitting here calling out fifty five year old J Lo and fifty five year old P Diddy. Like all their victims are all old and aged, and like the the trauma has been done. It'll never be reversed. Now again, it's just people have something to talk about. We want the nitty gritty details of all the gross shit P Diddy did to people and all yeah. the horrible shit that these. But what for what? Thirty years later, cool. This is the same thing as having a trial for a Nazi war criminal on his ninety sixth birthday. What are we doing here? This guy's ninety six years well, old. He lived his whole fucking life. We're, 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 we're gonna make him sit in a cell. You think he gives a shit where he sits? He's Bill just shitting his pants. Bill Cosby. People on TikTok are challenging her street cred. It's pretty funny. Uh, well, did you see that doc? Whenever she did the on MTV, like she went to her when she when they did that Jenny from the Block documentary, they went to the her house where she grew up, and uh, the people living in her house were like, "Can I help you?" She's like, "Oh, we're just filming. I grew up here. Who are you, Jennifer Lopez? Who? Like the <laughs> house she grew up in didn't even know who the fucking bitch is. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I think there's so they grow up and become their work slaves. What does that mean? Well, uh, yeah. What does that mean, Tim? I five, bro. Okay, so, so what you were saying about, uh, oh, I grew up here. You know, I'm Jenny from the block. Like, yeah. Like, um, obviously an industry plant, but. Uh, okay, dude. Can you get this guy blocked? He's no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> which one, Jared? He's well. What he's um, doing is he's promoting this horrible podcast <laughs> on my amazing show. Oh, Jared. Hey, you know what, Jared? I challenge you. We listened to the Dodgecast today. Actually. Yeah, I challenge you to be funnier than me. Okay challenge in the chat yeah light us up jared no jared's yeah, one of my up. best friends and i really respect him i just think he's gay and he shares nate of the name he only listens to heavy metal well that's okay it's not that means his brain is just it's not okay loves getting screamed at no know? it just Bro, means he, he's nah. he's uh the hey D word hey mate <laughs> may and um hope are we gonna go get them slurshies are we are we in any live no cones are we getting snow cones I don't only listen to heavy metal, bro. It's just, it's so easy to be funnier than the beanie guy. Oh, my God. Oh, he, he only listens to heavy metal? No, I'm just kidding. No, he's doing this thing where he says he's, he posted Eminem. What are your thoughts on Eminem, dude? Like, 2024 thoughts on Eminem. Uh, 2024 thoughts? Okay, I would say I would have, I have, I have zero thoughts about Eminem because <laughs> Eminem for me filled a gap when I needed Eminem. Like, he was there for me, but me at this age i don't need an eminem in my life because but I, I guess i'm not talking about his music but i guess like him as a an artist like again like what you're saying 2024 eminem like do, like again, do you think there's something to that like do you is it just you or is it, I mean, is it just me or is, it seems like the majority not all but the majority of bands out there that have a decent following the fans are really there for that first couple of albums you know what i mean yeah. Do you think there's some what what is it between album number one for a band that ha, like you know, even like Lit Biscuit, they're touring still. I'd probably go see them at this point. But I want to see them. I don't really care about any much of I know I like a couple of their new songs, but like for the most part, I want to see the hits. What is it about like the shelf life of a band before before their own fans stop listening to their new content? They're just gonna continue cannibalizing the old stuff. Well, okay, so I know this kid. Um, his name is Ted. Shout I got twelve dollars. Hope I got twelve dollars. Shout out Ted. Okay, so Ted, he's that kid I told you that uh, 
Freddie Dread like climbed in his DMs and and you know got inspired this kid to make music. But yeah, but Ted Ted loves Slipknot. Every time Slipknot comes to town, dude, him and um Devin always go to the show and like diehard Slipknot fans. And Slipknot's been around for a long ass time, dude. Devin loves Slipknot uh, enough to order a tape like a cassette, hey! a cassette of S- Slipknot. Yeah, and and he doesn't even have a cassette player, so it's like. Uh, I th- I think that more of a collector's item, like he just I, likes to. Well, what I was getting at is, I think that if if you show up on day one to to check out this band and, and you support them by album three, you're like, man. But people that show up late are like, oh, I fucking love this. I want more of it, more of it, more of it, yeah. more of it. I think that that's what it has to do with. Like, it's not necessarily the bands, like, you know. Because one of my favorite bands is uh, Weezer, and I was in a Weezer tribute band, it, it, and. I didn't. They the guys, all the other guys in the band were older than me, and they loved the new stuff. And like it got so bad, dude, that I quit the band because like the drummer had in ear monitors, so he knew that I never learned the lyrics to the new stuff. Like I would just like la la la. But like Weezer is one of my top ten favorite bands, and I can't stand anything past their second album. Yeah, you know, like I mean, I it's just that. like Ew. I get that, dude, because that the presidents of the United States of America, that album that or, you know that had that Peaches song that yeah. Frankie shout out. Dude, that entire album from front to back is is pure gold. Anything that they've ever put out after that, I hated it. I'm like, man, this I sucks. only like that song Mach 5 they put out, but it was just like a poppy. It wasn't President of the United States. It was just like a poppy radio hit, mm-hmm. and I, I don't listen to it every year. To me, Peaches of the United States, so like. That song goes hard. Well, it's it's good, Like, but is do you have any part of you, like when you start hearing music, like did it, like to me, Peaches, for some reason, like when I listen to Presidents, it just it seems too long ago like i usually skip it because my dj will put on presidents united states you yeah, know yeah. and like i like the song mm-hmm. maybe it's i've heard it too much but like for some reason like i just feel a certain type of way i'm just like ah, i don't want to be the guy listening to presidents of the united states i don't know for me uh my dad well i mean i, I know the story my dad went to i know i talk about church camp a lot on here but my dad went to church camp and came back and was like oh he brought a tape it was a cassette tape of that presidents of the united states of america so I listened to that thing front to back to front to back to so many times as a, a, a youth. And then I came back as an adult and like their lyrics, like that whole lump sat alone on a buggy march. Let's look them up. What is their story? I don't know their story, dude. But what I'm saying is they were the first ones that they, they got me to understand that it, your lyrics don't have to be like, they don't have to change people's lives. They don't have to be a story that's true. It doesn't have, you know, they can be fucking absurd. Pointless, just, yeah. Yeah. And it's it really at the end of the day, like say somebody doesn't understand english they're still going to understand your melody yeah I, I listen to german rappers and i don't know what they say but it's not that you know so the lyric really cool. the lyrics are like a bonus yeah. like if you can understand and honestly man as somebody when i usually when i put like songs out i won't put the lyrics out for the main reason is because uh like jared one time i have a song called gc kids and he's like hey is GC Kids about? And then he wrote like this big, long, beautiful thing about what he thought the song was about. Yeah. And there couldn't have been any more fucking wrong. Right. And I was like, I don't want to tell you what it's about because yours is better. Yeah. Like your ver- your version of what this song is about is way cooler than what the action. So like, I feel like That's lyrics are kind of a personal thing. Like you yeah. know, it's a. It's it, it, it's also like you're hiding information there too. You know what I mean? That's that to me like that's what makes because you have the whole camp that lyrics don't matter then you have th- then there's artists that i listen to that i only listen to because of their lyrics like the music and the tonality is not really my shit but the lyrics get to me so it's, it's just music on two levels bro look what this fool says somewhere out there somebody trimming a bush to that song <laughs> <laughs> he jared just he just said that yeah and that's important i think you have to you don't want to listen to a song 10 times and then picture the story in your head of what you think it means and then you ask the person, like, what's this about? And they're like, ah, oh, one time Arby's had a two for five special and I got I forgot my wallet. So I and they're just like, Oh wow, dude, I hate that song now. You know, it's like uh all right, President of the United States, Seattle, Washington, 1993, three piece, blah, blah, blah. They have looks like oh, they're gone. They quit in 2015, but it looks like they only had four members. So it looks like maybe they only had like one lineup change, rise to fame. Weird. Why are they a Christian band? Why would your Why know. would your dad get it at a church camp? No, because because okay, just like uh, just like how Spotify DJs for you, like yeah. my dad heard the DJ at the 
because they have a dance um on Saturday night at the church camp. And he, he heard the DJ play that song and he went and asked the DJ what the song was. You talking about your dad that the radiator guy? Yeah, Stu. Stu likes jams. Dude, Stu loves jams. Dude, really? Stu, Stu. He looks just like a guy, like just a guy that probably I I I just before you said that he looks like a guy that just works all day uh-huh. and then maybe watches a little bit of TV and goes to bed. But you're saying Stu likes jams, dude. He, he he his he went to college for broadcasting. He has a degree in radio broadcasting because he, he he loves the jams. Dude. Why didn't I hire him? I hired his I fucking know. defunct kid. Okay, yeah. here we go. Old school. Hell yeah, new Eminem. No, he sold out in a way. I love the immature. I don't think. He sold out. I think he 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 got put in a wild predicament. There was no uh, famous white rappers until Eminem came, and then when Eminem came, he set the bar so. I'm, I'm going to pretend high. you just didn't disparage Vanilla Ice, but keep going. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, maybe you're right. Uh, what I'm saying is Eminem set the bar so fucking high that the black people are like, no, Eminem's the best. He's he's number one, and it's like, I think they did that on purpose. Who's they? Uh, the industry? The Illuminati. No, I don't know who's in charge. Whoever's in charge. The Illuminati did it. The, yeah. Tyler's saying it right here. Illuminati hates black people right yeah, here on the Derek see, Oliver we, we got six uh, whatever emojis and nine people watching. That's way better statistics than, than yesterday. Than Plus, yesterday. we've had a celebrity on there. Frankie yeah, McDonald Frankie. was on the show. Uh, we need another celebrity. Can anybody get Drake to call in? Uh, so I can ask him where he got that um, ICP jersey. Did you see that picture? No. Dude, Drake's wearing an ICP jersey. Is, all, is it, is it the AI, fuck? though? No. No, because uh, uh, I saw the interview where they asked ICP about it, and, and then they do a dude called Drake and asked him about it, and he was like basically saying that ICP's like some heavy hitters, like the Juggalo shit's tight. Are you an ICP fan? Me? Yeah. Never. Really? Dude, ICP holds such a nice place in my heart because... Like we would get we would get the great Malenko CD and then my parents would find it and fucking smash it or bro- break it, do whatever, because dude, it was like devil music. So we'd have to like wait till we got to Denver, go buy another ICP album, and then like I probably had I probably paid for that thing like four different times at twenty dollars a pop. <laughs> dude, it's so fire. You're just a big fan of ICP. Well, the great Malenko album, dude, is fire, dude. It's so fire. And their marketing, like that hatchet man, is is good. Oh, I don't know what this dude's saying. Dude, Jared, I'm going to talk shit to you, dog. If you listen to heavy, heavy metal only, what, how, who are you to judge ICP, man? Mental fortitude? <laughs> dude, you you literally have... Dun, 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 screaming in your ears, and, and you're going to talk shit about ICP. He's going to talk shit, dude. Jared, he's he's on one, bro. He's on one, dude. He's, al- he's always on one, yeah, dude. I can't get him to one. stop. He's 33. He's a young guy. Give him nine years. He'll start listening to fucking... He'll start listening to Steely Dan with us. Yeah. Give him nine years, guys. He's still angry. No, the only reason I, I say that about ICP is, like I said, their first album was, or the Greek Linko one was fire. And like it held like, like it was like uh, the one thing that we were not supposed to do was listen to ICP when I was growing up. So it was like, <laughs> what? Uh, dude, and Beanie Guy? Put it this way. You say Stu likes jams. He likes presence in the United States and he's anti-ICP. I love him. What's this guy mean? Beanie Guy? I have a name, sir. <laughs> Jared Pedersen. I'm just kidding, dude. Talk all this shit. I love this shit, dog. Let's see what I don't want. What did I prove his point? What does he mean? That I'm not funny? I got jokes and jokes. I'm serious. If you're going to sit here and talk shit, Jared, call in. I just in. got a text that said. He said, who was the guy that oh. called in? Sounded like a, a mumble rapper from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> from Canada. I have no idea. I cried Jared because I told him to call. Uh, you're on the air. Hi, my ass is uh, sitting here listening, watching. I said, you said somebody, somebody on that tell her I say P? Yeah, I say P. First, first thing, bro. First thing. Fuck I say P, bro. Why? That's the first thing right there. Why? Well, uh, you know what? What? 
<laughs> I couldn't think of anything clever, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh man, sorry, man. It's all right, man. I mean, that's what happens when you listen to ICP. It lowers the brain center, or you can't think right. Now, I might yeah. not sound like a very intelligent person, but I mean, I'm not. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, well, I kind of know what you're saying. Part of it is like I've never heard anyone in my life talk like you. Well, I mean, I'm from Holler, but you know what the Holler is? Yeah, Holler. You remind me of uh, Ed, Ed Bassmaster. Ed Bassmaster. I never heard that, man. You never have? He does this he does this character where it's called mumbles where he like goes up to people and just mumble, you know, he's it kind of sounds like what you were doing, but it's just different and people like look at him like what the fuck are you saying, dog? But someone said that they know the dude calling and he's the shit. What's your name, sir? My name's Steve, bro. Steve, where are you from? Well, I'm not from the holler up here in Tennessee up in the mountains. Tennessee. Yeah, I've never been there, dog. I don't that even know where Tennessee was. Shit. No, nah, man. Did I just it? make your sister day? <laughs> dude, probably, dude, because I got that. Si oh my god, bro, this dude's hilarious. <laughs> exactly, Sorry. bro. My ICP probably made my sister gay. I mean, there's a good chance. I mean, that's what starts with the makeup and weirdness. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I did think it was weird that they painted their face in, in like, uh, all that type shit. And and their lyrics are about, like, killing people and that type shit. Like, that's kind of wonky, but. Yeah, he talked about a booty hole bug in one of his things. Something about calling out booty hole bugs, something like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, you get out there to their shows, man, and it's just all free love. And it's like if, it's like if hippies. Like for the modern age, but they're fucking retarded. You know what I mean? They don't stand for nothing, but just getting fucked up. You know what I mean? It's that's fine. I mean, that's what you want to do. That's your prerogative. But don't you know what I mean? Don't try and say it's a good thing. You know what I mean? Everybody knows getting fucked up eventually leads to life of death, all that other kind of shit. Yeah, I've been to rehab. Been to rehab before. I'm talking rehab was actually kind of fun though. You know what I mean? I met a lot of cool people in rehab. Did you ever get any pussy? Ever get any pussy? Yeah, I've got pussy. <laughs> I got pussy too. <laughs> Swing both sides of the fence, brother. I don't give a shit. Yeah, you and Derek both. Fucking, fucking me and T Diddy can get down. He wants my booty hole for a million dollars. What happened in the treehouse the other night, brother? Oh shit, bro. 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 How does he know? Bro, we got secrets. We got to keep secrets. What Cheeseburger. Happens? Cheeseburger. Yeah. What happens in the treehouse stays in the treehouse. Uh, all right, man. What no. I got to get back in here. I just figured I'd call him let you know the ice will turn your sister gain it. So. <laughs> <laughs> then he just hung up. That guy hates you. Bro. Dude, he's a hater. You know that guy? Not at all. I don't either, but that was incredible. He has a bad attitude, is what he has, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, hey, Jared. I always thought his name was Richard Whiskey. Jared, also, I would go to the gathering in a heartbeat, too, dude, because it looks like it's so much fun. Like, just people having fun and music, you know? It looks like a cool time. I just, like, I, and Juggalos are, like, really cool people, I think. Like, they're, it's all love, you know? Well, I mean, it's all like pretty, you know, gay and shit, but like it's fine, dude. No, like I don't have a pro like okay, you want me um, honest opinion, real notes? Nope, don't care. I like I like ICP in the sense that like in uh in high school, a buddy of ours would like show us just that great Malenko album. Yeah. And I thought the skits were hilarious. Yeah. And like the lyrical content when you're a 13 year old boy, it's perfect. Yep. And that's ornery. And like for me, like the thing that we were not. But the second that, the second the listener puts that paint on their face, yeah, it's gay. Yeah, tattooing the hatchet man on you, not good. Well, not but dude, good. like that's, that's shit your dad doesn't like. Dude, dude, look, we're matched seven for seven, seven, seven watchers, seven reacts, dude. We're doing good. Yeah. Also, Jared, I'm not trying to have beef with you. We're just joking, okay? So just... no, you should beef with Jared, dude. He's the host of Dodgecast, dude. He's a He's our number one competition at Back Home Media. Are we able to call in? And I, he's probably working. 
No, I'm saying like when they go live or whatever, they, they we could call, but they don't go live. They rec they record their show. Oh, they do an actual podcast. Pussies. Yeah, they do that. They do that. Uh, that week shit of recording. You know, they don't go live. That's that type shit. Can happen. They don't go live with Dehay in the room. Dehay would be known just to say some shit. You know. Yeah, we yo, take that risk. He says I'll call in about ten minutes. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> he's all fuck y'all. I ain't too busy. He's no Frankie McDonald. He, he lives away. in he lives in Dodge. He lives in Anadarko, Oklahoma. It's probably like oh, let's look it up on my phone right now. How far away it is? Anadarko. Hey, also May and uh Hope. I thought we was getting the snow cones. What happened? So here's what we're gonna do. Snow cones. May and Hope need to, are, they, are they watching still or are they bounce? Three hours away, you said. Yeah, they're only they're not far. He's not far away. Are May and Hope watching? Uh May and Hope. Drop us something in the comments. Drop a deuce in the chat if you're still, if you're here still. Sin. Hey, instead of dropping an L, we should have people drop a deuce. Drop a deuce. Hey, drop a deuce in the chat if you're watching. Or sin nudes. No, nah, we're not into that, dude. This is a Christian show. Christian? That dude, we just had Frank in here. Dude, with man. all this shit, we'd be starting with the cops, with you. We need to send dudes instead of nudes. We need homies. Yeah, we need bros. Bros before... Oh, by the way, Back Home Media is now currently hiring goons. Yep. Uh, we're looking for at least four goons um, that can <laughs> work full time. Dude, that was fun. What did Frankie say when I asked him if he liked big boobs or something? I, I, I think he said he loved big fat natties, dude. I think he said he liked big natties. Okay, Hope and, okay, so Hope and May. Obviously, me and Tyler are doing a live stream, so we can't go anywhere. Let me pull my wallet out. Yeah. Let's do some Elkhart magic. Hope and May, if you can get someone to give you a ride to the studio. We will buy. To the studio. I will hand you. My dick in a box. Whoa. Oh, I got some cash too. Okay, oh, it says, she says we here. You're at my, oh, you're at Donut Talk. Oh, she's here. Oh, they're in the chat. Okay. If you can get a ride to my house, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have eleven motherfuckers right here. Hold on, I got five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got twenty bucks. Is that enough? Okay, if you can get a ride to the cottage, we got twenty bucks. It's up to you to come back here with snow cones, or you could rob. How much us. you got? Nine. I got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven too. That's twenty-two. That's twenty-two. We got twenty-two. We got 22 on it. Okay. Now, what we could do is get some snow cones. Yep. How much does a snow cone run these days? About $40? Yeah, we could. Dude, and then also, I know that we're we're approaching the two-hour mark. So it would be Should like, we end the stream? We should end the stream. Okay, so we're going to end the stream. Well, yeah. okay, never mind that idea. Yeah, sorry, Jared. You're a little late, dog. If you want to talk yeah, shit. Dude. Are we going to do a second stream today? Oh, no, I have streams tonight. I have oh, Norm. what do you have? Oh, I have Norm? In the free zone with Norm at 7. And then I have, uh, then I also have, uh, uh kansas missing unsolved yeah dude she's a nun dude quit talking about dicks Ooh. in front of may dude she's she's tyler right. behave may's in the uh she's a woman of the cloth now she can't oh. talk about hog well no like hog talk dude it's a personal problem you think that's bad all right so i guess we're gonna get out of here we're gonna go pick up hope and may we're gonna go get some snow cones uh What's my flavor? I don't even know. What do they have? Yeah, what do they got? We better find out. We'll find out. Well, well this is what we'll do. Joe, Joe, thanks for watching, dude. Joe yeah. says he watches this while he flips burgers in, uh, I think, Dighton, Kansas. Yeah, Joe, is thank it Dighton? you. Joe, where, where are you flipping burgers at, man? Do a shout out. Do a shout out. We'll seriously, like, I don't think you understand, Joe. We have a place called Dairy Cream here. We have a place called Big C's. Amazing hamburgers. I love small town burger places. I will fucking drive to whatever town you're about to type to eat your burgers, dude. I'll bring I'll bring heads too. I'll bring all of the back home. Dighton, yeah. dude, that's not far. Dighton? How Dighton? far is it's it? It's like it's like it's like an hour past garden, dude. It's not oh, far. Oh, that's not that far. Well, dude, that's no, what I'm dude. saying. It's like you got people in this area that are tuned in, right? Yeah. Well, and Joe, Joe, I guess, has been watching, but he's been doing uh Oh hell yeah, Ashley told her. Yeah, yeah, dude. Dairy cream goes hard, Joe. Ashley, who's Ashley? Oh, that's Joe. Okay, so this is my homie's uh this is I, I think this is my homie Ashley's uh boyfriend, husband. Who's Ashley? She's my friend. Uh, it's Tila. Tila. Oh, this would be my cousin, dude. Ashley be my cousin, dog. Okay, Joe. Are are, are you you're you and Ashley are together, right? Dude, Ashley's my cousin, dog. 
Yeah, so Tyler over here is is uh, cousins with Tyler and uh and Ashley. Yeah, that's my so family. Is, yeah, so you guys are oh, like shit. Joe, you're basically like related through uh through through uh through like relationships to this dude on the screen here. That's right. crazy. That's crazy. That is nuts, dude. Dude, we're family, Joe. Well, what's up? He, when it said Joe Schultz, like uh Schultz is a big name in Elkhart, so I thought he was like I thought he was like maybe from Elkar. He said he was in Dighton, but I thought maybe he was like a uh, relation to Elkar. But that's crazy. That's that's Ashley's old man, dude. That's well, dude, cool. that that is fucking crazy. Yeah, uh, dude. So Ashley, I said hello. Oh, that makes sense too. Yeah, and then uh, we are going to uh, yeah. He said nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, and and yeah, we're gonna get off of here, Joe. But I, I I messaged Ashley like two weeks ago. We have uh, my van is huge. I can fit like a bunch of people in it. So what I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to uh, because I know uh, Brody used to live in Garden City. I was going to see if uh, we could pick up a bunch of Brody's homies and take them up to Dighton to hang out with him because I know he's been uh, struggling with his chemo and stuff, and uh, it'd be cool to just bring a truckload of homies to his house and totally surprise him. Like, we shouldn't tell him that we're bringing a van full of uh, smelly his smelly dude friends over, but we're going to try to set that up. Uh, Brody needs a, uh, needs a boost, and nothing boosts you like your buddies in the room. So uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. We might be back later. Tune in at 7 o'clock tonight on all these same channels for In the Free Zone with Norm. And then uh, after that, after that at 8 o'clock, uh, Kansas Missing and Unsolved with my good buddy Ricky Chabruggi. Well, thank you all for tuning in.